Get all that snap just good. No film gunpowder. Yeah. Okay, that'd be a weird. Yeah, shot. like this one I stuck here because it's just just too tall to fit in any of the other ones. Well, that's the thing. If they standardize bottles, then no one would stand out, and that's like right. You know. That's Seventy-five percent of the business is marketing. Right? Otherwise, you you wouldn't be able to do that bullshit. Look, yeah. look at this. I could literally replace this entire thing with a shot glass. Which we're gonna we're gonna need this. So maybe. But that's a it. recognizable bottle. The problem right? is. Yeah, that's so obnoxious. The problem is, <laughs> if we drank this, here's the problem. If we drink this, do I get another bottle? Because you know you're gonna need Galliano sometime. You gotta do something with it. You but this another, bottle's like another Harvey Wallbanger or something. Th I've had this since the show began. Yeah. So this is like 2018. 2008. Oh. Well, you got your, uh, so got some legs out of it. Right, but the problem is if I bought another one, I'm going to have it until like... 2030. Until I'm dead. <laughs> oh. so you got infinite, well, you know, it's great for... The, is it the Golden Cadillac? You just have to make a lot of them. Yeah, I, yeah. Would, make, I would drink a lot of those if I were... But the, it's the cream. Like, <laughs> you, just, you would just drink... Like, a lot of the stuff I go through, like, the reason we don't have a lot of tequila is we drink tequila. Right. The reason we have a lot of mezcal is we drink a lot of mezcal. And whenever I go to the store, Jennifer always finds a new bottle she hasn't seen. And then she <laughs> buys it. And then, then we drink it, like, to here. And then we stop and we move to the next one. We drink that one. Because you don't want to finish it. Right. Because then I, can, I don't know if I can get some of these again. Is this still from the one we went down there? Or did you buy this? No, no. No, that's... See. that's Sorry. Off different there. one. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking... Uh, not that someone brings us the... Uh, yeah, Brian cream wasabi. Yeah, yeah. And then that's our $120 bottle. Most of the 120 We have other, we have expensive mezcal upstairs, too. And we have duplicates of the Luxardo and the Aperol and a couple of the other things. Yeah. Well, there's stuff that you know you're going to go through, like the Luxardo. Oh, look. We've got, oh, we're live, by the way. You are. You see me? Marfugo Bar and Brewery. Bar and Brewing. Wait, is that part of their name, the American flag? I don't think so. Can you put but American I don't flags in the chat like that? You can put smiley faces. Yeah, but are they that big? <laughs> Apparently, they're really that big. Thing. Oh, they even knew Jennifer was over there. Yeah. Of course, Jen's over there. Good evening. Morning. Where else would you Morning, be? noon, or night, Sal. Wait, evening and night are the same thing. Uh, we're just waiting on Dan to show up. He usually shows up late. Um, if if it get, takes too long, we'll just start without him, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is an easy one anyway. Yeah. But it had the Di Sirono, and I was like, well, that, that was fun. We drank a lot of Di Sirono last weekend. Like, all of it. Dun, dun, all of the Di Sirono. Um, the whole lot. I think Deer was, like, surprised at how good this was in this hour. Because he likes sweet stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, most, most kids, yeah. Yeah, most most people under the age of let's say, 25 at I, how most. How can you not like Amaretto? I don't care who you Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I love an Amaretto. So you know it's what? good. It, the funny thing is, like, I don't, we must have had that in college or something, but it reminds me of college. When I smell it, yeah, I think of college. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we did. And I, I've been drinking it since college, but for some <laughs> reason, something happened in college that makes that stuck in my memory. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I, right as I'm pouring it, I think of the dorm with our like, little cabinet we had, mm. and that, like, Beside your bed, where behind the oh, door, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that when the RAs came in, they wouldn't see it. Right, right. It was just a dresser. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, but I, I don't. I know we did a lot of bloody brains and like stupid shit. But I don't remember drinking a lot of Amaretto. I did have my my Fire One Hundred One on my desk that I just took swigs of whenever I felt like it. But that's cinnamon. That's <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> that's true. I was like, I finally turned twenty one, and I get to go do something about it. Right. Oh, we have to do. Uh, we'll have to do a live stream in July. Oh, wait, when's well, your birthday? July 30th. August. I guess it'll be August. Yeah. Then my daughter could be on the show. Oh, yeah. Because she'll be 21. That's <laughs> just good. stupid crazy. Because <laughs> like, like, how old was she when you started this? Uh, what year did you start? 08. 08. So, so she was, what, she was she three? Was yeah, she was five years old. Four, yeah. Three. Yeah, well. It's been a, a little 16 time. 16 years ago. Yes, this is the Truman Show. You are watching us. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I think that's what he's referring to. What's going on? Hello, hello. Are you a lone rider? Yeah. Have a good shoulder? Good. Good. Hurts. Yeah. What? More than this is like, just in the ER for like 11 o'clock last night. Wait, what happened? Uh, 
Marissa and Tyler got into a car accident yesterday. Dude! Oh. Uh, is he okay? Yeah, like, so they were going through a four-way stop. Oh. And they were, like, pretty much all the way through. And the lady taking a right basically took a right right into, like, the back of the car. Like, oh. That's really like, weird. Back wheel in. Wow. And in so what car? That in oh, it can't be Marissa's yours. car. Because he can't she, even drive. She got five days ago. Oh, she bought her car five really? days ago and got hit? Was it new oh or was it deep? It was brand new. Oh, dude. That lady's yeah, insurance yeah. is going to run around. It was like this. It was like this. Oh. How fast so could she be going through a red light? light? I mean, through a stop sign. So she went to for him to go get an x-ray just to make sure oh, he didn't, yeah. like, repair anything. Yeah. Yeah, because he's recuperating from this. So he has yeah, surgery. Like he's in the car. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, so. after post-surgery, he happens to be in a car, and that's the first time he ever gets in a car. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You, awesome, the, awesome. I, I saw zero texts from you about oh, the fact yes. that you had a son in a car accident. But thanks. <laughs> I know I see you today. Well, because he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't, like, hurt. So neither of them were hurt, which is oh, good. That's good. That's good. Like what? what do we need? A glass? <laughs> it already begins. <laughs> what are we drinking? Where's your spoons at, bud? They're always oh. over here, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. You know, sometimes when I look under there, I can't see because that light's in my face. Well, it, it's going to be, yeah, it's definitely here. So huh. I get like a glare. So what's Jay, Jay doing? Just tending So she, she's just like, I'm going to take a bath. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> what time did all this happen? Huh? What time was this? Uh, it happened at like six, six o'clock, and then so she went into the ER at like six thirty, and they got out at like eleven for an X-ray. Yeah. Five hours. That's that's yeah. not average. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never, this yeah. is one of the reasons I never want to go for X-rays or go to any time of ER. I'm like, yeah. can I? Can this wait? Because it's like when I drove my. Uh, knife through my foot I was like if it stops bleeding after 10 minutes I'm not going anywhere and it stopped bleeding I'm like I'm good I'm not gonna die and I went and I scheduled a, like a appointment yeah. and they were like why didn't you come in right away I'm like ERs are pain in the ass like uh. I would have been in there till 2 in the morning because of course I did it at like 11 at night and they're like well we can't we can't sew you up now because there could be bacteria in there I'm like I don't care just butterfly it or whatever Rub some alcohol on it. I'll just go home. Skip. I just want to make sure I'm not Skip. dying. Like, just do whatever needs to be done. Doctor it. Doctor it up a little. And be good. Uh, yes. yes. That's so. insane. I told him, like, you would have better luck if you just fell out of the car and started screaming and had an ambulance come bring you to the yard. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that guy's going to cost you three grand. It's going to cost her three grand. Wait yeah. a minute. So explain to me this. Four-way intersection. Yeah. So they're already going through it. And they got hit hard enough. To do that much damage on a car turning? No, they, they were going they straight. <laughs> they were going straight, and the car turned into them like that. Right, but yeah, trust me. How the fuck do you not see a I, car that's you've? It's already beyond you. You've already, it's already passed through you, and you've still continued to go forward. Yeah. Tiny, yeah. it's a stop. <laughs> you wouldn't be stopped. And you can tell because you can tell like how where she got hit that they were. I mean, way through the yeah. four way. Yeah, yeah. At that point. And that's definitely immediately not her fault. Yeah. Like, it's on the back door. Now, who was it? Was it, like, a older lady, or...? Yeah, I mean, not that old. Like, okay. yeah. I, I just so I think she had, like, her head down and, like... Texting and just... Like, she, she she hit him, and then she got out, and she's like, it was my turn. What? And they're, they're, she's like, it was my turn to go. And they're like, what? <laughs> How fast were your turn going? Like, I, thought Tyler, I was on the phone with Tyler, and I'm like, I'm like, you gotta calm down. I'm like, when the cops get, I'm like, and Marissa's like crying in the background, and I'm like, listen. Say nothing. I'm like, you guys gotta calm down. Right. Don't I'm like, say talk sorry. to the cops. Yeah. And then her her parents were, it, it was actually like five minutes from the house. But so. like, when is your turn? Unless you're driving like a Tesla or one of those cool e-trons, e yeah. which can take zero to 60 in like three seconds, there should be no way that you could accidentally it's, do that and hit that somebody at that yeah. rate. Unless you were not stopping. Yeah, see, I blame TikTok, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, we should fucking ban that thing. Yeah. Um, I guess we can record, because that was fun. Okay, well, the, this is interesting information that I just learned. Yes. All right. Why don't you do this class already? 
so I'm probably not. Yes, be glad everybody was okay. Yeah, that's that's fucking crazy. Yeah. But now we're probably gonna have to take him to go get an MRI. Is this all on their bill? Uh, yeah, well, I ain't paying for it. <laughs> Cause that's that's some bullshit. Yeah. Cause they probably can't tell from the what they're seeing whether it was tear or not. Yeah, they can't really tell from like an X-ray. Is that um, blurry or clear or nice or? That's clear. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well done. Well, I did focus this for a while. So let's drink. All right, let's start this thing. <laughs> Why not? Welcome to Call Man Cocktails, Dan. Ian, Derek, we're going to make for you the French Connection. It's that simple. Yes. Two drink, two, two spirit, no special moves. It's a rocks glass. Put ice in it, add cognac to it, add Amro to it, Amaretto to it, and then drink it. Why is that cork so whack? Probably old. Uh, oh, yeah, for. Uh, so that's a, that's a that's that's either somebody ate it. It's not mine. So my uh, my my dojo instructor handed it to me. So do you oh. want this? Because he doesn't even drink. So why he okay. has something? Oh, that's where we got that. I'm like, how did we get that? I think yeah. there might be cork inside of it. So yes, it may be cork. I don't know if you do want you to want put a, it through a strainer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> why you don't like cork? Yeah. <laughs> but it's Jen likes The cork. thing is, it's a, <laughs> it's a VSOP. No, it's not cork. Close it's, though. Yeah, there's cork in here. Nice. <laughs> so, oh, you know what? I bet you he broke the cork. The other half is inside. Yes. This this happens. Or he just not on it while after drinking. <laughs> but he doesn't even drink. So he, he had. Who knows how long he's had this thing? Because he doesn't drink alcohol. So probably somebody. Br well, pe people will bring stuff. You know, they bring it to your house or yeah. whatever. Then yeah. they drink some of it. Yeah. And then they leave, and you end up with this thing, and you. Go oh yeah. I have a case of Heineken at my house that I'm never <laughs> going to drink. <laughs> I probably had a few cores and Coronas. And oh, I've got a, yeah. Dos Holish beer. And... Polish beer, yeah. A lot of liquor got drank, though, I'll have to say. My life's looking like too dead. So people bring beer and drink liquor. Good deal. <laughs> that, that's what happens, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought I already looked at the fucking eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better now? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like, that's true. Everybody brings their stuff, and then we make them cocktails, and they drink all the cocktails, so yeah. then they don't remember their name, and then they don't drink the rest of the stuff. Or we don't let them. And then or, or somebody clears every it. Every glass that I have in my house. <laughs> because everybody had one. I had, no one had two glasses. I only got one per person. And then that, then the other lady cleared them off the table and onto the ground in sure. pieces. Yes. So then there were those, and we get more glasses. <laughs> That other girl Wyman dated for a while. We gotta invite the Italian. <laughs> 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 or just use red solo cups so if somebody it. hasn't been to your house yeah. for like five times. Yeah. Exactly. It's a red solo cup night. Yeah. <laughs> so the recipe is one and a half ounces of cognac, one ounce of amaretto. So it's cognac heavy. So this is just like a way of not just drinking cognac because that would make you you a problem. Right. So you your alcoholic or something. So you add some alcohol to it and it becomes <laughs> less of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's sweet That's alcohol. Sweet. I, I saw this when I was going through. I'm like, first off, we don't use cognac very much. Secondly, we love Domoretto. We used it. We mm. drank a whole bottle last week. And I was like, how bad can it be? I think this one was from IBA's website for the International Bartender Association. Uh, oh, by the way, our Patreon. Those our actually go together pretty good. Our executive producer is try. Matthew Mason. That's You're gonna, You wanted some cork? No, I just wanted a little glass. He probably wanted to filter it. He'll be okay. He's made out of Western Massachusetts. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've had cork before. It's funny because it's not. It's not that. It's like um, the honey. Uh, what do you? What's that? Uh, the, the, the rusty nail. Oh, rusty nail. Yeah, and I think the amaretto and the cognac, like they pair pretty well. Mm. Interestingly enough, because cognac has that little. It's a little different flavor. It's not like too a oaky. Yeah. It's, That's what I want to like see. It's got some citrus what taste flavor like to it. Itself. And we never drink cognac. And we never come no. up with a reason to drink cognac. No, we thought we were going to do a whole show on cognac. Yes. And then I drank all the stuff and, I And then you drank it all. <laughs> and, and leaving us with zero, zero Actually, cognac. Actually, I have some, uh, some of the uh, Pierre Ferron cognac at home still. Did you can buy that yeah. here? Yep. In, the, in New Hampshire, too? Yep. Oh. Oh. It's VSOP. It's even better than the Glossier. 
Because it's VS, VSOP, XO. Because we have the VS. XXO. Is that also, the this is better. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just look at the shape. This is supposed to be the shape around your ass. That one's to put in your, <laughs> into your bar, right? Like, this is like for on-the-job training. You just right. put it That's in good. here. It, it's, it's a little sweet. I mean, it's sweet, amaretto yeah. I mean, sweet. It's, yeah, it's going to be sweet. It's, it's almost half amaretto. It's mm. 40% amaretto. It's not as sweet as, say, uh, like, I feel it's not as sweet as, like, a Midori sour. Although, I don't know why. Maybe because of the sour, the, the egg white kind of... It dries it out a little bit. dries it out. Mm. And, like, it feels sweeter... But this this should be freaking sweet. Like that's a lot of amaretto. I feel like it's that, sweet. It's sweet. Really? Oh, yeah. it's definitely sweet. You don't think it's sweet? I mean, it's it's sweet, but it's it, it's, it's not too syrupy. balanced. Yeah, it's I'm, not syrupy sweet. I mean, there's no sour in there. There's no. no I like, think this is how I'm always gonna drink cognac. With amaretto? Yeah. It's not bad. And it doesn't taste exactly like amaretto typically tastes. Like it, that cherry flavor doesn't seem to be there as much. It's I, almost like almondy. I think that yeah, cherry. I think that's like how it's playing with the, the uh, yeah. cognac a little bit. That's tasty. Hmm. Um, so sweeter people, if you want to sit down and have a very simple drink to make that's not just pure spirit, I would say you just drink cognac. And if that's too strong for you, you just obviously naturally should add De Serrano. And yeah, I mean, you can put keep your wow. My ass is cold now from the. Glossier in my pocket. Uh, That's our ringing endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Glossier, it'll make your ass cold. <laughs> it'll make your ass cold. Uh, by the way, a, a little bit of history since I bothered to write it. Uh, it was a two part drink that first appeared in the early 1970s, and it was titled for the Gene Hackman film called The French Connection. Uh, it's like The Godfather, which I believe is a Scotch drink that's similar to that. Um, yeah, after dinner drinks. So, something to sip on if you're not into Bailey's after dinner, which I enjoy, but I don't do that after dinner either, but I feel like it would be a good time. Yeah, I guess if you want something sweet. like If somebody if offered some... me Bailey's after dinner, I'd be cool with it. But yeah. I'm not like, I don't go and have like dinner and be like, oh, you know what I need right now? Bailey's. Like, that doesn't just happen to me. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, so but you don't you turn it down. No! <laughs> no, you never turn it down. No. Uh, that's it, my friend. Sidebar, there's going to be some more cocktails. And then down below, the bartender starter kit at OfficeRace.com, where you should go to get your stuff at my store. Do that now. That's it. We'll teach you how to drink. Boop, boop. Lead in. Oh! Today we're making a really simple drink that ends up tasting really, really good. Stay right. tuned and find out what we do. Right, because we're not going to give you the recipe. Like one of those? Because if we give them the recipe, then they wouldn't have to watch. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. That's why I didn't. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slip. Why I didn't do that? I have That's to not bad. I edited that video that you, you said that. This was up here. What? And then we replaced it with passion stuff. And oh, we did? Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. Why'd you do that? It's not so clean now. It's Be organized. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't what happened? Don't look for just, anything. It's all moved. Just yeah. to make it. Oh, this, by the way, I didn't mention this part. This is my overflow. And I did find a brand new bottle of Lillet, which I was going to make a Lillet drink. I was going to do the Vesper, I think it's Oh, uh, yeah. You got this? No, that I had upstairs on my bar. Because uh, I, I couldn't find Holy Boy Armaro, and I just bought that to use instead. But whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's all the overflow for like extra bottles, except for the new Amsterdam. That thing's just obnoxious. Like, where to put it? <laughs> like, I, I, what I need to do is I need. Oh, to get, it looks so clean down here. I need to get a Damn. smaller bottle of New Amsterdam, just so I can pour that big bottle into it. Yeah. What is? Oh, we're gonna need sweet vermouth. And Irish. Yeah. Is this our and, Irish whiskey? Yeah, uh, yeah. There should be a Powers Irish whiskey up there. Yep. Sweet vermouth. And what are we using for a glass? Can you scroll down on that a little bit? What do you need? I just want to know what we need for a glass. Mixing glass, ice cubes, strain a martini glass. Okay. And you're in the or Yeah. We need a mixing glass. Mixing glass. Like to stir? Yeah. Mm. I was looking for a martini glass, but we want to use a Nick and Norm. Sure. Yeah. Better than a martini glass. What's this thing called? The tipsy dipsy? Tipsy dipsy. Tipper, 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 which, tipper, which I have learned is a place. Temporary. You gotta put those bottles over here. A place in Ireland? Yeah, a town in Ireland. Mm. Oh, SG Sports Talk Channel. That's a really long name. I guess I can't say anything. Mine's probably Common Man Cocktails. <laughs> yes, but it's the good one. What? It's 
a tiny vermouth bottle. Mm. You want a bigger one? I got one of those too. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I didn't say that. Well, I heard it. It came from your mouth. <laughs> to my I guess ears. I said it, but it wasn't my original. Yes, thought. I said it. This is red. 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 Again, remember this. Temporary. Temporary. <laughs> 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 Look, he's always bending down, mm. missing something. <laughs> <laughs> it, it never dawned on me that like no one could understand why that was the case until you asked. All right, ready? Here we ready. Go. Welcome to Golf Man Cocktails. Danny and Derek can make for you the Tipperary, which I just learned is a place in Ireland. Because Look at that. I thought it was a funny play on words for tipping. Like maybe you're only tipping temporarily or something. I don't know. Tip and it, <laughs> And he's like, oh, isn't that a place? I'm like, really? And How'd he, you know that? There's a lot of stuff. He was singing a song. That's just one of those random things. You were singing a song about what? Tipperary? Yeah, there, there's some song. You're a long, long way to Tipperary. Some Irish song, I think. See? I like, didn't know where did he song? learn this and, and, and when I when I put it up, when he's all he saw <laughs> what do you think was I the do name. all day at work. I mean, <laughs> when, when all he saw was the name. It said Tipperary. And he's like, isn't that a place? It's like, does this have Irish whiskey or, or does this have Scotch in it? Yeah, or I was something? thinking it was some, some oh, Scotch. Scotch. And I, I and I'm like, no, but it has Irish whiskey, and that's pretty fucked up that you knew this. I know, but there you go. There's some shit that's in that head that I don't. I have no, uh, no idea how I got in there. No <laughs> the recipe is a simple, simple one, two, three and a half. It must have been a Netflix show. We haven't used green chartreuse in a while. <laughs> oh, was it locked? It was. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta lick the edges. There's green chartreuse candy coming off. Of yeah, yeah, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> um, this is an ounce and a half of Irish whiskey, three quarters ounce of sweet vermouth, half ounce of green chartreuse, and one dash of Irish stir bitters. Wow. So this made me excited because I bought this expensive bottle of Powers Single Pot Steel Irish Whiskey. Um, On a recommendation? Yeah. We did a tasting of that. One of the fans, yes. Yeah. And I don't know much about Irish whiskey, and people, people are like, this is good. There's another one that was a little bit more expensive. I think that was expensive. It was probably like 70 or $80 or something like that, maybe 90 But some of them were, were like $100 oh, something. Dollars. I mean, not, not in the same magnitude of scotch. Yeah. But, you know, you can get an Irish whiskey for pretty cheap. Like, I don't know how much some of these Yeah, it's pretty, but they're still pretty expensive. I mean, you get like, like red breasts and stuff. Yeah, like Bushmills. It's probably like... 40, 50 bucks. 40 bucks. I keep going. 50 bucks. <laughs> well, they were a sponsor for a while. Every, they sponsored every St. Patrick's Day. Up until two years ago, I think. Uh, maybe I pissed off. But they, this was this was the original bottle they sent me, and they wouldn't let me use it because the branding looks different. So uh, they needed a see. new one. I had to reshoot the whole episode just so I can get the fucking <laughs> label. This is, what you, this is why sponsorship sucks. <laughs> yeah, we should get free bottles. Yeah. This is true. Actually, you know what they did? They made me go buy it and then they credited me the cash because they didn't want to have to ship it to me because it was going to be hard. It's expensive to ship. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes not always legal. Right. So they're like, can you just buy it and take a photo? This is what the. They, they wanted me to buy it. It had to look right. It had to be yeah. the right one. So if I had. Luckily, New Hampshire had just the new ones. So I didn't have to worry about branding mishaps again. <clears throat> and then they just, I just invoiced them for it. That looks beautiful. Mm. Does that look beautiful? Does it fit on my... Sounds interesting. No, you have to zoom out a little well, bit. Oh, I thought you were being a critic. No. no yeah. Does it look beautiful? No, it does not. I think you're okay. <laughs> Guess yep. you don't like brown drinks? You know what you yeah. think? It, it looks like a... Do you want to see if it's actually... Whiskey. Uh, whiskey. Well, that's whiskey. Chartreuse is good. We don't use that a lot. That's another. It's a chartreuse is yes. not a cheap bottle. No. Either. Oh, that's true. Considering that's like sixty-five no, bucks a no. piece. Yeah. yeah. Or it used to be. It's probably like eighty-five now. Yeah. Probably like one hundred twenty now. Probably yeah. But and it's you're tasty. Eight percent interest to, get, to pay up a loan so you can get it. Right. It's like a stronger version of like Benedictine. It's I keep because thinking. Because of the monks. Yeah. Yeah. They like the overinflated monks. Everything. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I bet they now sell it. It probably looks like this. They sell it just like this in a big bottle, but it's dark. You can't tell it's only half full. You know, like the <laughs> shrinkflation. <laughs> That's tasty. That's it, tasty. You can, this chartreuse really comes through. It, mm. it mm. better damn well come through. It's, it's like $60. Flavor. Yeah. <coughs> and that vermouth plays vermouth. really nice in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a good good combo. It's, it's smooth. So yep. smooth. 
the with I, I don't really taste whiskey, but I also know what I'm li looking for. Like, Irish whiskey is so delicate. Yeah, and both mm. of those flavors are pretty overwhelming. Yeah. The Chartreuse yeah. and the Vermouth. Yeah. Yeah, that I, I could taste like a little, like, the herbal, not, I guess, black licorice whatever, out of the out of that. Maybe even a little bitterness. Mm. There is a little bit of finish bitter. And then the, the Antique, I think, has also got a little bit of a bitterness in the finish. Well, that's the, that's the sweetness, too. Right? Yeah. It's so. got that, that sweet, bitter, more sweet, I think, than bitter. But it's not flat it's got a lot of cool flavors to it mm. but mm. it's not overly herbal either where it just tastes like uh no no this acid. is great this is like my kind of drink just like on the front yeah it yeah, kind of reminds me of like a like a brooklyn or mm. like it's green, manhattan a green point yeah because oh, the green, oh, green point yeah. has green chester so oh. yeah because of the green that's oh, almost no, that's... exactly what this is that's... other than the portions probably so it's probably a green point but with irish whiskey instead of um Maybe, because Greenpoint's a borough, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, is Tipperary a borough of Dublin? Some, yeah, I'm going to say some city in Ireland. I don't know where it is, but it, yeah. it, it is in Ireland. So. so maybe that's that's what they're trying you to totally do. You totally must have been watching like, some Netflix show. And they're like, we're in Tipperary. Yeah. And you're like, boop, no, put that <laughs> back there. <laughs> <laughs> can, Never know. I'm going to pull that. that out at some point. <laughs> I remember from the song, and I don't know why. Uh, is this yeah. a question of the day, type versus untyped languages? It's always typed. Yes. Uh, but yet, here, my, I use untyped languages on a daily basis. Right. <laughs> my, even, my, even my license plate has a type, type as a, language. As an uh, engineer, you want to use the type languages, especially if you're doing embedded stuff. You can't yeah. not use it, types if you're mm. doing embedded. Yeah. <laughs> Why? You don't want to run into a problem halfway through the code while it's like giving you insulin? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's the problem? Come on, just <laughs> oh, man. You can't just use a managed memory thing. No? Yeah. yeah. It's like, so, yeah. so oh, this is a good drink. It's really know. good. Mm. It, you know what, though? It keeps making you want to sip on it for some reason. Mm. It does. I mean, it's really it earthy really on the, <laughs> like, herbal on the back end. Yeah. Like, it yeah. stays with you for a while. Yeah, and, like, it just kind of, like, lingers, like, hey, remember me? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like that more than a green point, because I think the green point is probably a little bit more it's muted. Strong. It's stronger, but the flavors are more muted. Like, there's probably more. Does the green point have I guess so or not? I'll have to look it up after. Uh, I can't remember. There's a green. I don't know if that's on. I don't know if I put on the recipe site. Uh, I'll find it somewhere. You should definitely try this. It's very interesting. If you like spirit four drinks that don't have any juices to them, mm. I tried to book in the, the the content this month with like more of these type of things up front, and then we get a little bit, I think, more juicy later on. Because uh, like you you're going from April to May, it's getting warmer. Yeah. You know, you're gonna want like margarita type stuff and sours, but there's still a little. You're still kind of in like the yeah. Warm, you can still pull this off. Yeah. I mean, I, you go to a restaurant. If if I had that sitting out on the back deck of some restaurant, I'd still be fine with it, mm. whether it was ninety or eighty or twenty. Or so 20 this has a higher percentage of like chartreuse and vermouth than uh, Green Point. Green Point also uses yellow chartreuse, which oh, it's gonna be lighter. He's gonna, he's gonna be and like orange lighter. bitters and a dash orange right. bitter. So that's the difference. Yeah. Other what does it use? Bourbon or rye? It, uh, rye. Yeah, if it's a man, because very weird, it's got to use right. Because yeah, the bourbon would probably be even a little too oaky and probably dominate everything. Yeah. So there you go. Now you have a variation of a variation of a Manhattan. Mm. Yes. So think about that. Which I think is better than the original. Yeah. Variation. Mm. So yeah. must try. Um, also, our executive producer is Marco. If you want to help us out, you can go to Patreon.com/slash/CMC. That's Common and Cocktails, and then you can give us money on a monthly basis, or you can click the join button if you're on YouTube too. That's nice. Um, you know, you're watching it. It's free, unless you want me to be poor. I don't have a job right now, so. <laughs> so have a drink. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Oh, wait, no. Sidebar, more videos down below. You can go to awesomedrinks.com, too. Pick up our bartender starter kit, maybe some bitters, make yourself one yeah. of these things, and that's it. In case you got a drink. Mm. Yeah, I know. I was just waiting to see what the general vibe was and who was going to jump in. And... <laughs> oh, I figured you did. I did one. Yeah. Today! Out. Today! Watch this. We're going to make a thing called a tipperary. Derek doesn't know what it is, but by the end, it's all going to be clear. Ian does, though. Yeah, because he's like Wikipedia for humans. That's right. Yeah. Wikipedia for humans that just add stuff to your brain. Ian. What's that? You're like Wikipedia, random people just add stuff yeah, to your brain. Yeah, some of it's real, some of it's <laughs> not. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> it's like an AI algorithm out there. It's yeah. just sucking shit in, I'm telling you. <laughs> right. And sometimes it spits out garbage. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Summarize this drink for me. Uh, 
see what this is going to be. Oh, yeah, this is burning. Kind of like oh, damn, we're going right in. So now we're going in juicy. Slightly. Which one of these is lime? It, doesn't have, it still doesn't have a lot. Huh? No, does it have juice? Yeah, it has juice. The lime is the one with the cool yeah, pour on it. You have to on margarita. Yeah, but it doesn't have um, all the other margarita stuff. Orange liqueur, okay, well, I guess it has that. It doesn't That's have... Manier. What the yeah. fuck is it missing? It's missing Agave. something. I got... Sugar. It doesn't have sugar. It doesn't have sugar. See, it's still so still strong. No sugar. Okay. You're using right. Grand Marnier, basically, to, mm. to spike up the sugars. Get your insulin running. Get it. <laughs> Get it. Is your... Uh, your... EGV's gonna spike while we drink? Probably, but I don't have a pot on, so I don't have the controller with me. Oh, so you won't know. Yeah, I won't know. So it's not gonna go beep, beep, beep. No, it did. We were actually, we left work, and we are like, sitting in the parking garage, like, talking, and all of a sudden I hear this beep, 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 and I'm like, what the, is that me? And he pulls his phone like, Yeah, I'm like, is that me? I'm like, phone's not making noise. He's like, he's like, I think that's you. <laughs> There's no one else around. <laughs> it's not me, and we're the only two people here, so it's gotta be you. I don't think I have any. I think this is literally the only reposado I have in the place. Really? Yeah, we drank all of it. And then you put your orange liquors down here. Cool. Yeah. The Cadillac requires a reposado. No, but I mean, we drink. Uh, we don't typically drink reposado. Uh, right, but we always have reposado. Yeah. Except that's why I'm, I'm surprised that that's your only bottle. <laughs> Well, I think what happens is uh, the Brianna checks it off with her when hmm? she goes to the whole gun metal campus. collection here. No, no. You got the whole potential. You got the set. The set. Got the set. Good. I don't know. Are we good? Quads. Oh, why, why are all the drinks staying down here? Because I'm going to drink them. Here, I'll drink that one. All right. You can get the tributary or temporary. Uh, temporary. Uh, so we need a large glass, large coupe. Yeah, there's one right there. And I'll chill it. Oh, sweet. That's a good idea. Being fancy, Ian. Being fancy, Oh, uh, We can also float it on top. Are you going to float it? Up in this bitch. Am I floating? Oh, yeah. So what do you, I, that's a that's an executive decision that I left for you guys. Certain recipes I've seen float the Grand Marnier on top. It gives it a interesting look. But I don't know if you want to drink it that way. Right? That's the problem. The other one, the, the one I originally saw was just you shake it. Yeah, yeah, just shake it. Shake it. But sense. we can suggest you can also float it if, if that floats your boat. I'd say it's worth mentioning to the, the, the viewers. The, the chat and the humans that are on the other side the of the humans. cameras. Yeah. All right. Ready? All right. Oh, yeah. And I thought that was going to be integrated into the mm. into your intro. Could have been. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Danny and Derek can make for you a cocktail. This cocktail is called Cadillac Margarita, and I'm going to give you the recipe right up front because I keep like waiting just boom it's getting right into it right into it i'll get right all in. the good stuff done right away then i yeah. just and then we just watch it yeah jerk off for an hour uh ounce and a half of reposado tequila one ounce of grand marnier or whatever your favorite cognac orange liqueur is three quarters ounce of lime juice done that's so simple commence jerking you so have a pink cadillac the pink cadillac margarita has say, yeah has a cranberry juice. cranberry juice and then everything else i think is kind of like a margarita I think so. it's kind of like a Lemonade version. I don't know. It, it's pink. Uh, there is something else different about it. Uh, Did we make this at some point though? Uh, we no. This is this is why I was also slightly confused because I was like, we must have done this before. We've never made this. No. Come on. No. Uh, we made the, the Cadillac, crazy. pink Cadillac margarita or whatever. We made the golden times. Cadillac. We've made a golden Cadillac. <laughs> Uh, all the rusty Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> Remember when no, we? What did we drink out of the car? That's a move. That's bourbon. The oh, that was a bourbon. Anymore, yeah. Uh, Rusty Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> the, the beat up Cadillac. <laughs> this is so. The downtrodden Cadillac. <laughs> I, I had this set up, and then I was like, wait a minute. Rusty I went through, I was like, Cinco de Mayo is coming up. So yeah. this will go out a couple days before Cinco de Mayo. Seemed like a good time. Yeah, why not? Because, like, it's the Mayo of. Uh, it's the Cinco of May. Yeah. So you gotta have a tequila drink, and the the basically the premise is why is this different than a standard margarita? Cadillacs are fancy, so think how do you how do you up the thing and make it? You fancy? gotta make it better. You you use reposado because it's a higher class. It's just different, really. 
but uh, slightly more aged. We're using Stamp Ray because they kick ass. And the inclusion of the... It's an infusion using a... I guess not. No, I don't think this one That's what it says. Wow. Because it's more of a... It's more of a... Well, more and of a you sipper. could have floated the yeah. Grand Marnier you could float the Grand Marnier and, and yeah. get it on top. But the Grand Marnier is kind of like a hot... It's a cognac, a rich version of orange liqueur. It's th therefore, it is a elevated cocktail that makes itself in Cadillac form. Kind of looks like orange juice. A pit. Yeah. Orange juice? It's like, it's like it's weak orange juice. Orange juice. <laughs> more like somebody drank a lot of beer. <laughs> it looks like a Belgian white. Yeah, yeah it does kind of. Mm. Yeah. Which has orange in it. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you can easily batch that up into a large quantity. Oh, it's tart. Tart? Mm. The lime? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very margarita-ish. I don't know. No, I mean, it's definitely margarita-ish. It's like missing that, like, sugar. a little heavy the lime. Yeah, it's like missing, like, the... Well, because there's no sugar... Yeah, it's like a, it's almost it's like, like it's mm. like a spirit forward with juice type drink where they like, ah, fuck sugar. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sugar's for weak. It, I mean, sugar. I would drink it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's, I didn't think it was tart. that sour. And no, I don't like, think it is either. <laughs> but Dan has a sensitivity to sour. We know <laughs> yeah, that. It's not sensitive, lemon. damn it. <laughs> it's typically no, lemon. No, like, but it is. It's a little I'm not like... saying your butt hurt about it. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... It's more sour your than the last Your flavor receptors ones. are more. Mm. Right. It's going to be more sour than everything else you've had. Adverse to it? Hold on. He's, he, like, I have had really sour lime. Slime can be pretty tart. Mm. And, like, I've had some pretty tart lime drinks. And that's not as bad. As some of those tart lime drinks. Mm. No, just like You're doesn't. I don't know. Like, I'm not driving the Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I love margaritas. It's just not that. One. It's so all right. It doesn't. I, I could totally see like take. It, this could make a good blended drink. Ugh. Yeah. Because then you're having water Oof. and it would water it down a lot more. You know, huh? Like you're. It's trying. just too like sour. <laughs> it's coming for me. back <laughs> in. You all over. You're like, ah, maybe it's not too bad. Oh. I tried. See, I keep going. I'll keep going. Um, it's, I don't know. Our executive producer, Stephen Foisey. This one's for you, Stephen. You can go make this drink. Show him. That Come on. I, I see Stephen make a lot of drinks. And, and, and like, then go put it on the Instagram and say, at Dan Bro 51, yeah. this drink isn't as sour as you made it. You yeah, know, you, it is. It's sour. You little bitch. Like it feels, <laughs> I can feel it right here. Like it's sour. Maybe it's the lime. I can feel it in my face. Even though it's the same lime we used all I that. I can feel it in my face. The other week. Like last week. How do we counter the sour? Uh, you it's sweet. It's sweet. You have Dan not drink it. Hmm. Yeah, you It just tastes like a, you know what it is? Is the Grand Marnier. It just isn't like sweet. like Sweet enough? enough? Sweet enough. For me. So I mean, like the some, I, mean I don't drive a Cadillac, so I'm okay. Yeah, he doesn't like the poopy seats. He wants like yeah. the hard leather seats. I mean, that is definitely not like a smooth ride. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. like oh, I the sun's shining in my face. <laughs> it's a smooth ride with the sun yeah, right where it, like and you just face. can't get the it's little like visor. We down. all have behind the camera that no one else can see all the lights. Like, yeah. do you think this is better than like your standard margarita? Nah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like a huge margarita guy. I'll drink them, but like. So we've. If you made it with your with the what's the orange? The dry curacao. The dry curacao. I thought dry curacao ones that were pretty good, but they also had the agave in it too. Mm. Right. I mean, it, the minute you put agave <clears throat> nectar in here, you have a margarita. Yeah. It's just weaker because there's not as much tequila. Yeah. I'll try it again. <laughs> so one thing about the sour, it keeps making me come back. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. He's gonna be suffering some more. So there you go. You guys try it. Leave a comment down below. Everybody should be able to build this one out. I would guess you can get access to those. Well, that one wasn't as bad. <laughs> it's growing on them. <laughs> well, it's not diluting anymore. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's not diluting, so. No. Maybe I'm just getting used no to it. See? You know what it was? We haven't had anything sour yet, so your taste buds had to saying. acclimate. True, and I just, because I just got done drinking that other drink, right. too. Right, which is which sweet. Is and it was and like and sweet and herbally, herbally and, and yeah. yeah. Maybe there's a, a big So, so maybe there. I threw it off. So try it again, see if it's still try, good. Yeah. I so I, if you're gonna order something like this at the bar, just don't drink something sweet before it, or add on rye to it. All right, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs>
Order two. The first one you'll hate. The second one you're going to love. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say love. <laughs> but you might. I was, you're riding it. I would say you can deal with it. You know, it's like. He said. He said <laughs> this is his Ford Focus It's still margarita. not like super smooth. Yeah. That's the Ford Focus margarita. Right? Yeah. Uh, so that, that was, I stole that from Pirate King. Uh, so there you go. Give it a try. Write your comments down below. Tell us if Dan's right or wrong. And how many took you before you realized that Dan's yeah, right. Yeah, try it. You try it. You tell me. Yeah. I think it's a little sour. They uh, like it. There's a sidebar over there that's going to have all kinds of tequila drinks for you for Cinco de Mayo and all those other holidays that involve drinking tequila. And that's it. We're teaching you how to drink. Ooh, sour. You want to leave this one in? <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to make a drink <laughs> that might be a little sour for me. Yeah. Some of us are fine with it. But you might really like it. You will. Results may vary. <laughs> Ask your doctor. Ask your doctor. Whew. I'm telling you, it was definitely more sour before. <laughs> you drank all the lime out of it. I now think I did. I think I think it all could suck in my face. He has a it's this weird. I honestly think there's like an equilibrium with your taste buds though. Like the first time you taste something sour, it's like Yeah, but, but then you kinda of get used to yeah. it after yeah. like your taste buds act. But we did the same thing. And we were fine. See, she's in her bath and what is that? Is that an, a tablet? Yeah. She's watching her movies in her bath. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. But, but is, she, is her wood going across? Yeah. And she just puts the towel on the wood and yeah. praise the God she has a sneeze? <laughs> no, it's in a, like a little holder thing. Oh, you have a holder for it? Well, it's got like a... No, not the wood thing. The wood thing just sits yeah. on it. But the... But the, the tablet... tablet yeah, there's like an indent that oh, you right. stick the tablet in. It's designed just for tablets? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Like here, take a very expensive device and float it above your... Your water. <laughs> Did your scent fairy come from? You just zit. You felt like you're. Ah, uh, that was under. Yeah, so like you're doing. That's so like you're like. Woo! <laughs> Till you sneeze. Like it's like a chew. Uh oh. I don't think so. Not most, most oh. people don't sneeze like you. That's true. I have. I have a problem. I do sometimes. Too. Yeah. Especially if you get like, like black pepper in your nose. Pepper in ya. Oh, oh, nice. This this one's for uh. I like it. Nice. We need some sugar and some kachasa. Alright, we're going to take a shot. Kachasa is funky. Oh, we need a so good. we got to figure out which one to use. Okay. Oh, I like these. Which one are we going to use? Um, this one looks too big, and I think it's like no Brazil's best selling, so you know this isn't good. No photo. They, I think they sponsored something for us. That's the one thing. Yeah, they did. Well, I know we got the shirts from them down at the uh, tails one time. Oh, did you? Uh, they had like a tasting room or something. There. I use these a lot. Yeah. No, in, I see. I see. You really like these. Were the ones we did the actual interview with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Barra. Yeah. yeah. That one was pretty good too. There were, oh, this one. Go in. That one's pretty good. Yeah. yeah we can use your. Uh, your gar. Which one you want to use? Your gar. You have a knife for the. Yeah. Is it really big, like a cleaver? <laughs> so you can do a fruit ninja? <laughs> I wasn't going to bring down the cleaver, okay. but it's still going to be big. No, you're cut off from the cleaver. And sugar. We need sugar. Come on. <laughs> we have some good action shots. Do we shots. have sugar down here? Uh, uh, you need sugar. Do we? Oh, no. No. No, no, no. No, no. maybe not. No. You got, cu not. You got some of the cubes here. You have chicken cubes. You want cubes. What's that? Yeah, you don't want cubes. You want like regular sugar. I'm in the muddle, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you're taking the cubes and you're removing them from the cube shape. They put all this that is work true. Into. If you want to use this the cubes for something else. Regular. Okay. Here's the. See this one? That I would not go like that on. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not that sharp right now, but it's but sharp I enough. I go like this and it catches. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because. <laughs> I sharpen it like every two weeks. Yeah, I sharpen mine like every six months. I'm like, it's good. <laughs> well, I think, oh, was I talking was, to you? Yes, yeah. there's, there's, uh, he, he went like, Derek, I like. Derek's like, he cut, cut the bread with it. He had to go in like, I'm like, oh, it's not a bread knife. He's like, yeah, it's not sharp. So I went like that. I'm like, I went like that. I'm like, no, it's not sharp. Like, uh, how would you do I was that? like, dude, what are you yeah. doing? Like, I don't care how uh, sharp it is. I'm not doing that on dead knife. But I, I mean, he was using a non-bread knife to cut bread. And it was using a dull bread knife to cut bread. You could have hit it with a bat. I know. <laughs> but it was there. I know. I got to sharpen it. It was there. It's fine. <laughs> it was funny. This. Uh, yeah. So, you know, you know how to make one of these? I hope yeah. so. You remember how to make one? One whole fresh lime? Yeah. yeah. 
You gotta cut it into quarters. Yeah, yeah, and then muddle it. Or quarters, not even smaller than that, right? No, quarters. That's a lot. A whole line? A whole line is a lot. A line is small, maybe. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Peggy. You're gonna, are you building it in there? Yeah. You can use half yeah, a line happy birthday. Yeah, it says to build. I saw both of them. I've seen half a line, a whole line. I'll use a half a line, because that's a lot of stuff. And you don't want this Dan yeah, to get all yeah. <laughs> We gotta know your audience. I, no, I like Caprinus. <laughs> It's got yeah, but if he uses a whole lime, you might not. But it's got sugar, so you True. can always sugarize it. <laughs> you can always put more in. Yeah, I use the big half. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. Danny and Derek, we're going to show you how to make caipirinha. And, and we're watching uh, Ian slice up his limes, and you guys are as well. Um, the caipirinha recipe is going to be two ounces of cachaça, one ounce of fresh lime, uh, or uh, one ounce, one fresh lime, or we're going to use a half a lime because the glass and everything around it is not the same. One tablespoon right. of sugar. So I would say this is an executive decision on how much sugar you want. You I would go with, more? if you use the whole lime, you can yeah. do two tablespoons of sugar instead of the one. You know, it doesn't right. matter. But the whole goal is to score the sugar and the, the zest of the peel with your sugar, so it's gonna like rip it's at like it. It's like an oleosaccharum. You're building like an oil on the fly. And an oil is like basically using sugar to extract the oils from the zest. Sugar and fat, I think, is what that word means, right? Oleo for fat, saccharum for sugar. I guess sugar turns into fat if you drink it and sit on it for a while. Right. <laughs> well, the oils are the fat. Yeah. Right? Okay. I, that I, was right next to Tipperary. She was like, <laughs> oleo. Well, didn't you make an oil sack on some point here? Yeah. <laughs> if, if, the easiest way to make an oleo is you take all that you skin or you zest off all the, or just basically use a potato peeler, take all the lime zest off. I could use a whole lime. Put it in a. It's like limeade. Yeah. You don't yeah. Worry. You can use lime. You, um, you can put it. Shit out of that. Yeah, you got you got to crush it up, man. So you you basically if you took all those zests, you put them in like a little bowl, cover it with sugar, and then you just leave it. Yeah. Like let it sit there for three hours. The sugar will extract all the oils from that zest. Yeah. And then it, it turns green and it just becomes lovely and tasty. Mm. You know, it's, I usually do it with orange slices because you can make an orange oleo, which is better than a lime, mm. I guess. And then. And we did some, and we introduced some in New Orleans. We did the all of the Max. Oh, yes. right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, he did the, the fashionable like, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the beauties of using an oleo saccharin is you can put that citrus into the cocktail and then you can batch it in like a uh what do you call this the keg because mm. yeah. the problem yeah. is you can't keg fresh juice because yeah. it's not really good when you pull all the oxygen it's bad when you rip out all the oxygen so this way you get all that infused oils but you don't actually have the fruit juices which are the things that go bad ah so it's just a nice tasty mess sounds like that at least <laughs> uh Lots of fun. The, my choice is the Yagara. We did an interview with these guys a few years ago. Many probably years yeah, ago now. Uh, I think in the U.S. at least, Cachaca 51 is probably available. If you could find it in another higher-end one, this is probably the lower end. The way I know is it's a big-ass bottle that says Brazil's best-selling Cachaca. My guess is Brazil doesn't even know the name. Um, and then it no smells good. good. Yeah. Did you smell that? I do not. It smells good. Um, Cachaca is like a... It is funky, but it tastes funky. so good. Oh, yeah. It's basically... Yeah. Levon's pretty big. Is that how you say it? Look. Yeah, I had that one. I think yeah. I drank. Yeah. No, I don't have that one. Th this uh, is like your summer drink. When you don't want to drink a, like a margarita. Yeah. Uh, the If you can understand the, like the flavor that comes from a cachaca. Like yeah. It is definitely... It's like the, uh, a rum from the Martinique mm. Islands. Like, yeah. Because yeah. they're using... It's like drinking Monty if you're a cola drinker. There's some funk to it. Yeah. 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 But Monty has a lot of funk. Uh, but the cachaca, the cachaca is actually a, a cane juice that's distilled versus a rum, which is a cane or a molasses. molasses. So unless you're a French Martinique rum drinker, which is a cane juice. So it's that same kind of process, different countries. So you're in Brazil instead of oh, on an yeah. island. That's good. <laughs> Uh, if you go to a Brazilian steakhouse, mm. that's ah. usually the first yeah. item on their list for cocktails when you go on the cocktail side. It's going to be this. I don't know what they drink for beer down there, but it's probably the same beer we drink here. I don't know. Heineken. <laughs> Heineken and probably a Corona. Heineken and Corona. That's, yeah. that's, that's what our Brazilian friends drink. <laughs> Just like, boom. Yeah. I have no idea why I have Corona. This is you? Oh, yeah. I brought those at okay. some point. There's like so much can beer. Can I drink in, this in now? Here. Yeah, you can 
There's like tons of little beers all floating in here that came out of mm. nowhere. Yeah, welcome to my house. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> that's that was a double reaction. Mm. Wow. So, you don't make these, do you? These? Yeah. In the summer I do. Ooh, you that's good. Shots? Yeah, it's Le Bon. Oh, yeah, that's really good. That's mm. they're like that's the really Patron. good. Le Bon is like the the Patron, I think of. Of they have three levels. Like this was the higher level. See, you'll just have to bring this up when it's yeah, warm. Yeah, probably Bring that over and we'll... Finish it so I don't yeah. have to have it here. You'll we'll just have to bring that over. You'll just have to bring that over and we'll smash some glasses off the table. <laughs> <laughs> is this your, well, I don't remember... Cock, was it a Amaretto Sour? Something hit the floor. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on. You missed a picture fell off the wall. Where? Oh, because DJ took it off the wall as he slid down the wall. You know the, you know the gold pictures we have? He was like putting his shoes on and he did one of these. And I was just like, fuck. Because we bought those in a set and I'm like, fuck. Did it break? Oh, it broke. I've had them fall off the, the I tried I bought those little things that they say online that you can use that they won't put holes in your wall. Oh yeah. Yeah, fuck that bullshit. Well so that They was, don't put holes in your walls, so you put them on the floor when the, the frame goes to the wood. That was the first time. Like I hung them up on like the the three M strips yeah, or whatever yeah. the hell they are. Yeah. Yeah. Don't One work. fell down and I was like fuck and then so we bought a whole nother set. So I know I have another oh, one there you go. somewhere uh, in my house. Unless it was that same one. Or are they all identical size? Yeah, they're all the same size. Yeah, they're all the same thing. I, I'm pretty sure I have one, but I don't know, we couldn't find it. Um, so these, this is a, this mm. is hard to describe the taste of this, because it doesn't, it has it, it tastes like cachaça, right? Yeah. But like, but if you haven't had cachaça, how do you explain, how do you explain it? Yeah. Like, it definitely uh. has a good. This, I watched, like you put, that's a whole fucking line. We've already done a drink with less line than he drank. And it was like, oh, oh yeah, no, right? this cuts right through it. The sugar balance. Well, the it. sugar balance, yes. Yeah. Right. It's, See? it's like lemonade limeade, right? It's, right. You yeah. basically, basically made a limeade made. Yeah. on the fly with Without, a little bit more. Water. Just concentrated. It's yeah. fantastic because then you can, in, and then if you want strawberries or any other, like. Yeah, you can make the strawberry. Yeah, you can just, you just crush it up. In and, there. Yeah, you, you can put blueberries in there if you want to, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, it's kind of like I think the. I've um, people do grapes. I can see. I think I had one with grapes in France at one point. The, uh, in France? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty far away for Caperina. Yeah. But the, it wasn't like, worth the trip. But <laughs> <laughs> I ordered Caperina in Spain, really? and that's when <laughs> I got, got a my. Campari sour. I got a Campari sour. <laughs> I can see how those you things know, are. That's close. <laughs> so <laughs> she just seen my face when he brought it. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, is that red? I think something happened. Yeah, because yeah. that the Caipirinha almost always looks exactly like that, right? Yeah. It's got limes floating in it with crushed ice. Not a lot of variation. And it looks like lemonade. Yeah. If mm. it comes over any other color, looks like a gin and tonic, mm. heavy on the line. Yeah. 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 Unless you ordered like That's a, a strawberry Caipirinha. It's 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 a good balance of sweet and sour, and then like that. I feel like there was a time when they were like super popular. Everyone was drinking caipirinhas, and everyone had caipirinhas on the menu. I've never oh, heard yeah. maybe ten years ago. They, they have, remember because we used to go to like that sushi bar. Yeah. And get them all the time. The, so. the ones I've seen a lot more are like the caipi vodka, which is just this. Caiparoska. Or caiparoska. Caiparoska yeah. is that what it is? Yeah. I think there's like three or four different ways they like throw names on it, but it's not the same. Because I think we made the like, caiparoska no. here. Yeah. Like I don't or over there, maybe yeah. I think it was yeah. at the at that table. It's been a while. It doesn't. It, this this, this has bar's a unique been here flavor. Nine years now. No. Yeah. Eight. December fifteenth, twenty fifteen. Yeah. yeah. That's a long time. It's a long time. Right after we get back from Barcelona. Yeah. When you had your caipirinha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. This. The, it all ties into it. Somehow. It all ties in. I would suggest you stay away from the vodka variant of this and just go with this, because I mean that's just like a fucking Moscow Mule or some shit without the ginger. Vodka is just it. It just be the fucking like, limes oh, and sugar. It's like it's it's alcoholic lime juice. Wee. Like and the, well, the value of this is really bad. Either, but it's not a... Yeah, the cachaça is really the value of this. Yeah, drink. this is because this is just transporting that, that funk cachaça. goes really well with that lime. It's very tropical. Yeah. It's very. And I found zero other drinks. Not that I've been doing a lot of looking. That have cachaça. Like nothing comes across the table that's like, oh, here's a cachaça drink. It's it's always this. Like they invented this because they wanted this, or vice versa. But what's funny is like we have Brazilian friends. They don't drink these. And they don't even have cachaça at the house. Like they don't drink it. I would have just assumed they had it. Right? That 
I was, I was, like, I was gonna think I was when like, we went over there that the first thing they were gonna give us was these, but instead they got margaritas. And, and then we had a party, and their other friends came over, and they made the caperinos with freaking vodka. I was like, yeah, I think you were there. Oh, that yeah. Yeah, yeah. like couple. Yeah. yeah. Did you ask them if they were traitors to their nation or? Uh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> he's like, well, he's like, we like vodka, but and I'm like, you like vodka better than your national. That's like that's like hating the American flag. Yeah, I'm uh, like, I don't know how those are whiskey. Like, or, or whiskey. Yeah, yeah go with it. Go that far, <laughs> it's yeah, probably wow. more like hating that one, bourbon. That one really it like, fast. <laughs> it's probably more like hating bourbon. Like, right. if you went to, like, another country, you're like, I don't like bourbon, huh? I guess you probably have to go to, like, Scotland. No, like, something. if you were raised in Kentucky and said you didn't like bourbon, maybe. Yeah, mm. yeah America is pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut that off. This is us. true. <laughs> so that's good. Our executive producer is Michael Schwabby. Schwabby? Schwab. Schwabby. Schwab. 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 Why do they have I would an say e Schwab. What would you say? Schwab. <laughs> Schwab. Why, why would you put an E on the end Schwab. of your last name you if you didn't want to say it? You don't say Flamby or Flamb. You say Flambe. Yeah, Schwab. 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 Yeah. You're correct. Michelle Schwab. That's, that's, that's like, I Michel. never thought of Michel. Michel Schwab. 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 So thank you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, and for letting us butcher your name. <laughs> <laughs> At least three times. He's like, wow, I'm not donating <laughs> Yeah. We diced that like bitch up like that line. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, all right. Model the shit out of it. Yeah, <laughs> Model yeah. the shit out of your name. Um, now we're done modeling. We're going to tell you there's a sidebar over there. You can find more videos. I don't think I said sidebar, but that's what I meant to say. Over there with videos in it. Down below is the bartender server kit at awesomedrinks.com. You can also find it at Awesome Drinks. Some bitters on sale because I just need to get rid of them. Mm, so good. go buy my bitters. You won't get them anywhere cheaper. Yeah. Because I'm losing money on them because I just want them to go. No. So that's a sales pitch. Don't be bitter. Okay, she had a drink. <laughs> Everything must go. It's a big summer blowout. <laughs> <laughs> big summer blowout. Big summer blowout. Big summer blowout. Um, oh, today you're going to see us make a Kuiperania. And learn a little bit about a Kuiperania and why they're so darn awesome. Because they're delicious. Yeah. Just ruin the, ruin the show. We didn't give away the recipe. No, no. You're going to learn about why they're awesome. Because they're delicious. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going to have to watch to find out why they're Son awesome. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> if you just use hey, did you guys see the scene? intro? That shit's delicious. Yes. We should make one. Yeah. Do we need to watch the video? No, nope. fuck no. <laughs> we saw the conclusion. No, see, but they need to know how to make it. We need to know another sim. It is good. Right? It smells funky, though, too. Mm. It's so good. Oh, it's so good to smell. Mm. It's so good to smell. Oh, yellow bird. We've done that before. We have? I think so. We probably have done it like I've that. seen it before. Maybe we haven't done it. Oh, we've done jungle bird. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. We have oh. definitely done it. Oh, definitely done jungle bird. Yeah, those are good. Those are really good. We had those at Fault Side. I don't know. I, don't I keep making I think I had one at Fault Side. Let's see, this is called yeah. Yellow Bird. Liam asked me what drink he would like. I got him drinking Majority Sours. Oh my god, so <laughs> no one's gonna lose with that drink. Nope. <laughs> Gil was like, Gil was like, Dan. He's like, what was that? He's like, the drink. He's like, it was sweet. He's like, it, it had like the foam on top. He's like, we drank it at your last party. He's like, it was so good. Midori. I'm like, it was fucking Midori Sour. <laughs> I'm like, with an egg, though. I'm like, who doesn't like the Midori Sour? Like, it's a good goddamn oh, drink. It's, it's a good drink. And then yeah. he's into drinking. Was, That'll get him in trouble. Yeah. yeah. The Aretto Sour was the last one, so now he's going to want a green and a yellow one. Triple sec. So look at that. The Long Island Ice Tea already has more. Oh, look, there's a dry cure sour right there. Yeah. We're using Galliano oil as well. Use something else good. Light rum. Might as well use something else. Good. Light, Light rum. rum. What have we used? It's a vodka. This is pretty good. And you can use plantation too. That's good. Uh, we, I have three bottles of this and an old one. Then let's use that. Oh yeah, we're going full funk here. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Robert the guy is going to come with shots. You got finish it up. But you don't know how. No, okay. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. Finish this one. And then he's gonna be like, "This is too sweet." And there's still the, the temporary. Yep. And Dan's not finishing that margarita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the margarita. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got trade off. That's a lot more sour after this. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> See, it's relative. Your taste buds yeah. just got lulled into a false sense of security, and then bam. Then bam. Robo I'm telling you, Gala. bam, sun in your eyes, fuck. <laughs> what is a Robo de Gallo? Robo de Gallo. 
What? The Gamba is another common cachaça drink. Huh. There you go. Bravo Brazil. de Gallo. In Brazil. Euro. Bravo. Rabbit of the Gallows? Bravo de Gallo. <laughs> the hung rabbit? The hung yeah. rabbit. So Difford, Difford's guide. Difford's guide. Difford's guide says it's cachaça. Oh. <laughs> Vermouth, chinar, and hop grapefruit bitters. Oh, I have those. Oh. Uh, we have all of that. But I don't know what this vermouth is. Is it dry or Scrucci, sweet? Rosso. It's a red, right? It's a yeah. rosy, huh? Oh my god. Difference guy doesn't let you copy like a fucking noob. Scrucci. <laughs> oh, there it is. Come on. Uh, it's gotta be a red vermouth, right? God, it goes right to the Difference guy. They must make it. Like, what the fuck is it? It's dry. Red. Is it make a red dry vermouth? I don't even know what this means! Alright, well, I'll have your camera to go. Hi! <laughs> Producers, like, get your shit together. <laughs> Alright. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. Today we're gonna make for you the yellow bird. It's probably gonna be yellow. It's gonna be Every, close. Everything that's going into it is some it's, variant. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's fair enough. It's gonna be. Uh, Do you have be, a glass? This is Dan. To put it in? Yes. Ian and Derek. Yeah, it's chilling in the oh, back. Right, it's chilling, it's chilling in the back. back. Chilling. Yeah, no, um, chilling. So, this is the third recipe this month that I got out of the IBA cocktail list. The IBA publishes, it's a, they were in like a 1951 organization that just kind of like says these are, these are the recipe ratios for all these classic cocktails. And IBA so, stands for? International Market Association. So we don't know. the the whole goal is to like so I, I had originally went out there because somebody told me that they've had a a real Long Island iced tea. Or the real recipe is one ounce of everything, and I was like, explain to me how you know that that's the real recipe. Mm -hmm. Like, what makes it real? So I go out to IBA, and it was exactly what we did. Yeah, at, which is what I think we originally derived from anyway. And then he's like, well, my. Mother made it in the seventies that way. I'm like, that's not original, man. That's like, that's your mom made it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not how the industry. Your mom works. isn't like, the original. Yeah, like, like I, I was your waiting for. I drink. was, I was waiting for. I'm like, well, in this, because I know a lot of fucking cocktail nerds, right? And they're like, well, in this 1937 newspaper, here's the scan the original, of it. Right? Yeah. That's how you usually find the original. Yeah. It's like this was the first time <laughs> such and such a cocktail was published. Long yeah. and iced tea. It must have existed. Somebody invented it because it's the same everywhere, but we don't know who that is. Someone's mom, apparently. But it was apparently somebody's mom. And again, though, one ounce of everything doesn't make it different if, if, if the sour mix is the same, right? Yeah. If everything's up in ratios, it's the same drink. It's just put it in a bigger glass. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, I don't know. So while I was out there looking at the official one you to found. get confirmation, I found this and like three of the other drinks that we, that we had made. Um, I don't know what they were. That's how Jared oh, finds like all his drinks. The French Connection. Tonight. What's that? It's just trying to disprove someone. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. On the, on the travels to disprove. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or prove. Like, I, I look, like, when people tell me I'm wrong, before I tell them, no, you're wrong, I try it. Because Google's right there. You gotta like, make it's sure, not yeah. hard. Like, I, you wouldn't believe how many people ask me, like, a, like an obvious question that Google would have responded to immediately. Right. Uh what did Google that for you? Yeah. yeah. We don't know those people, so that's where we're I like it. So I said, well, this is what the internet said. That's usually how I answer it so that they know that that's I didn't. It's more of a limey color than... Oh, no, 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 no. That's damn yellow. That's if pretty you, yellow. If you were back I mean, here... I mean, that's yellow. If you saw it, right? Right. right here, it's pretty yellow. <laughs> yeah. No, Thank you for it. It's because we have the backlight to be able to see. Like, yeah. Don't take the our problem word for it. Is, take Google's word for it. Yeah. Everything looks really, really nice right here. Because yeah. there's a fucking light in our face. Mm. For everybody else, like it doesn't look like that. That's right there. Yeah. yeah, you can stand in front of it. I shouldn't be looking at it directly. No. It will It will not burn out your retina. Well, all this training is why we can stare at the sun now. <laughs> so you looked at it, it, the eclipse, it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. I couldn't see anything, but it was fine. Yeah. I still couldn't see anything. But oh my god, Wyman's like, he's like, I went out and like looked up and I was looking at it. He's like, I looked down, I almost walked into my truck trying to get back in my house. <laughs> he did it without glasses. Yeah. So cool. You could do that for like one second. After that, this is well, bad. you can do like this, right? Where you're filtering your fingers. I, I, like, is that trick? But then even that doesn't work to see the actual eclipse. No, yeah. you're not gonna. It's just you're seeing a bright object and you're not dying from it. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, he was trying to look at it with, like, just sunglasses. Yeah, I don't know. Again, that's not very helpful. I thought it was actually going to get darker. 
I know we were I've only seen in like the 90th, 90% or whatever it was, but I still think yeah. it was It was freaky it. looking because it was like bright yet not bright. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely like weird out. Like, yeah. yeah. That's not mm. bad. Mm hmm. But it's not great. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's what? not bitter mm -mm. or sour. It just is. It's like a it's terrible. No, you know what? It, it, it's it's basically it tastes to me. If you close your eyes and I hand it to you, you probably think this is just a daiquiri. Yeah. Uh, right, but it has a little weird. Not a good pop. daiquiri. <laughs> because I think the Galliano is giving it up. It takes the bite of the lime away. Yeah, and I don't know what it replaces with. And the and the orange, it's I think, got a little is black actually... licorice, but it doesn't taste as herbally as you'd think. It. I almost wanted to say it had like a banana like nuance to it like it had like a not like doesn't taste like a fruity savory banana but it had like almost like a banana chemically taste to it like a runt like a runt no runts are no. tasty yeah runts, runts are, are tasty. tasty we have 99 <laughs> bananas for that 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 shit's solid no cap it's i don't know it's all right yeah i mean i wouldn't throw it away but yeah i wouldn't wear it it's one, probably you know what it's worth trying but there is that it's it's not it's the middle flavor it's like right, right after you get that like that rum flavor. There's that second half, and mm. that's where that weird funky flavor comes. And then it ends it's like making a my mustache sticky. <laughs> Maybe that's what all drinks do. <laughs> yeah, that just means it's time to trim the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. You could just shave it off. Just, oh, just it's all right. Okay. I'm not that big of a fan. Yeah. No, it's, I don't. I'm not sure about that that second flavor that pops up later on. And maybe it's too sour for Dan, too. Yeah. It's, like it's, it's just like, one of those classic cocktails that doesn't carry forward, like, to modern cocktails. It's just... No. I don't know. It's just kind of like... If you it's almost it, like it's, like, watered down, but it's not watered down. Yeah. Or it's not oh, sweet okay. enough. There's still something there. Yeah. Maybe that's sure. it. There's no sugar. Maybe we're just expecting some sugar in the yeah. daiquiri-like flavor. Could be. Mm. Like, you want that sweet flavor? Yeah. Yeah, and this isn't enough. No. No. Maybe I should use a triple sec instead of a like curacao. Maybe it would, because triple sex would be a little bit sweeter. Yeah, more sweet. I guess if that's. Well, like it's not like a bad drink. It just doesn't have much. No, going I don't think it's it. gonna. There's not the, a lot of depth. No, no. and and yeah. if you want a drink that doesn't have a lot of de depth, you should just go with a daiquiri. Like, they're good and tasty, but they don't. It's not like they're gonna. They don't stand out like this is the best thing I've ever had. You're just like this is a no. really good daiquiri. Not a lot of nuance. Yeah. No. It's like if you want rum, and and, and limeade. Boom. But, but a daiquiri is like a sour. Yeah. It's just it's a it's a good basic drink. But you know what? Yeah. If you add into a daiquiri like Luxardo Maraschino or something like that, it would be tasty. But I think the Galliano kind of makes it yeah, weirder. Let me try it again. I, I don't know if you could recover Outside. with a Luxardo. It doesn't take a lot. But I do have a drink that will be coming up that does use Luxardo. I don't know. It tastes like watery lime, like mm, that was a lot. <laughs> It doesn't take a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. It doesn't take a lot. You know what? You're right. I think the dried carousel might not go with this drink. <laughs> Fuck. It. It just, uh... He just says nothing. This is another one. It kind of like gets you. Like it just like creeps up. Makes you look like you're looking at the sun again. <laughs> maybe, maybe, thus far, it seems like what I'm hearing from you is that you like sugar. Or just pure spice. Oh, makes it a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> maraschino makes everything better. Yeah, but now, wow, that's maraschino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, but. <laughs> that's the same drink. <laughs> no, it's, it's zero yeah, it like the like original drink. Song. Now it tastes like you have a, like a sour maraschino, which itself is kind of interesting, but <laughs> I'm sure there's another drink name for it. Um, uh. So there you go. Yeah, I, you if you want to try this, I would try it with just like some standard cheap six dollar triple sec and see what it tastes like. Or if you want to try your dry curacao. Like, like if you like, like I don't know if it's worth like buying a bottle of what? Galliano because that's one. Oh, thing oh yeah. You might not oh, have, but there are other good drinks. We forgot. Yes. Yeah. So if you have Harvey the bottle, yes. like Golden Cadillac. Yeah. We were talking about this right before we. Came yeah. Out. You gotta like. You need to make not a, a Cadillac lot. margarita. Just remember that <laughs> Golden Cadillac. It's got cream. Right. It's got cream in. Yeah. It. So you gotta like. It's like a. It's the like Mexican a, Cadillac is riding rough. It's like a. White, <laughs> it's like a white Russian, but not like a white Russian, because it's got cream and Galliano and white Russian has cream. I haven't caught that before. Fair enough. 
Big difference. Yeah. There, there is a similarity in that they have cream. I think that's what you're getting. <laughs> we, we do, we do this thing a lot where we find similarities between one out of five ingredients. Yeah, I, I get it. They're like, okay, yeah, that's completely different. It's, so. it's, it's, <laughs> it's like the, this, this but the is same. A, this is an exact copy of the drink, yeah. except you replace. It's like a Venn diagram. One, two, three, four, and five, and keep ingredient six. It's, it's like all a, the same. It's like a, the proportions are different, but it's like a Venn diagram that just touches. Exactly. Just touches on yeah. the edge. Exactly. And the rest of it's cropped. You can't right. see it. Yeah. Sidebar, more videos down below Boston uh, Boston Shaker Kit. Boston, no, the Bartender Starter Kit. You can get a Boston Shaker Kit if you like one. Uh, AustinDrinks.com is where you go for that. More cocktail videos over there. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> whether you're looking at the sun or... Yeah. Today, hit or miss number two with Mr. Sourpuss over here. Stay tuned to find out how it lands. <laughs> You want some maraschino? They put the other recipe on the screen, right? Yeah, you sweet vermouth. Yeah. Oh, that, that makes yeah, it Yeah, just sweet vermouth. And a heavy 25-ounce Chenard. How does one get a heavy 20.25 ounce? They make it more I don't know what yeah. it used to taste like. It tastes like maraschino now. It tastes like a daiquiri with a little funky flavor in the middle. A heavy 0. 0.254 is 0. 0.35. Or 0. 0.3. Canard's not bad. It's that's a bitter that I can do. It's a lot like Campari. No. <laughs> no. No, it's not as bitter as Campari. When he says it with such conviction, now he's making shit up. <laughs> that's like Aperol. I can do Aperol. It's, it's just like the Chimari. different color. It has different <clears throat> comes from artichoke instead of <laughs> but beetles. But it's very similar. You use it in different cocktails. Oh, Pisco Sour, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my jam. <laughs> We got I'm some. In. He's so excited. Oh, my I was yes. thinking Pim's Cup. I'm like, where are the veggies? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pim's Cup would oh, be. Pim's cups are I haven't good. had a Pim's Cup in a while. That's because you have to make them. <laughs> I have to have somebody else make that. Egg white and me. right. Oh my god, they were so good. They were very good. What do you need? Egg white and simple syrup. White. There was a guy at the Bancroft that would make Pim's Cup, a Pim's Cup, cup and it was so there. good. Oh, that guy. Cups are good. The one Becca. guy there, he was like in his 40s or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Taller guy, bigger guy. Yeah. Yeah, he was cool. He, like, he would make those and they'd be really good. I, th I think he liked making like special stuff. Like, I got the impression he'd like to play around with stuff. A couple of the, most of the people don't. They get yeah. all mad. <laughs> You're like, You're not the cool bartender. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, just make me something. <laughs> like, I'm bored. I've had this. Don't you love your job? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was. You want to be creative. I was like disappointed when we went to drink, because they ask you like what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, and it's, I mean, I mean, I guess everything's like a riff off of, Whatever. you know, like a classic cocktail. Yeah. But, it's a two -one but that's one what it was. Yeah. They would just kind of riff off like classic cocktails, and I'm like, sometimes I like to go to a place and like. There's shit like it's I've never heard of. Shit, yeah. yeah, like I'm just like, whoa, you put that in a drink? Yeah. I'm like, I'll take that. Like Hakate. Yes. Like those drinks were really good. And they're like Crazy. something you can't make at home. Yeah. But like yeah. I can riff off of a classic. Right. I mean, obviously not as good as they can. They. But... I'd rather not get something I can make at home. If I'm going to go out drink? and pay for a drink, I want to get something I can make. Yeah, I want like a, a liquor or some kind right. of concoction that they made. Like, Especially oh, if you're just going four by days ago. asking me what I like. Syrup. Yeah. Because you're already like supposedly creative. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what a Mugato Chiki glass is? A what now? No. Muga Mugato. Mugato. Must be Was that for Mr. Roboto? <laughs> <laughs> That's Domo Arigato. Oh. <laughs> Did you say Mr. Robot or Mr. Roboto? Mr. Roboto. Mr. Roboto. <laughs> <laughs> one's a TV show. Too bad you can't put pictures in the chat. Yeah, they don't have that ability. Okay, what's up with that crap? That's probably a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, depends. Yeah. We're very open. <laughs> Star Trek. Oh, so Derek should know what a Mugato Tiki glass is. Yeah. No? No? Oh, Star Trek. you are failing. You just got fucking deranked, buddy. <laughs> what the fuck is Oh, that guy? That's... I would have never taken this horned ape that was from like the original series and ma you made a tiki glass out yeah. of that. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Now, had you used like the like that lizard guy, whatever they call the Gorn. 
The Gorn. That I would have been like, that's Star Trek. Well, look at you. <laughs> like the original Gorn. Oh, and he's like, Again, I don't know what any of this shit means. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've never watched Star Greetings Trek? Greetings from Portugal. You just said Portuguese flying. That's what you I showed did. me. I have Portugal. Well, sort of. It's from uh, Cocktails in Portugal. Yeah. The Azores. Portuguese wine. Right. Have you guys watched Cold Ones yet? Yeah. No. Oh my god, you have to watch it. It's well, pretty I started fun. watching Fallout today. This. Fallout. How Is did that? you like it? Uh, so far, it's alright. Yeah. yeah. Did you play the game? Duro. No. That's Morse. gotta be sweet. I played Fallout oh, Shelter. Oh, yeah. Do you know that yeah, one? Yeah, it's the casual, like, on the phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. I think I played that for a little bit, too. That was very grindy at yeah. a certain point. Oh, you started playing Fallout. No, no I started no. watching Fallout. It's a, it's it's a series a, on Amazon. On Prime. Yeah. Oh, Prime. is it new? Yeah, just dropped like, yeah. yesterday. Is it based on the game? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I saw a meme about that. I didn't know it was real, though. Something I can't remember. <laughs> No, yeah, that surreal? Oh, it's, it's real. it was a picture. It was like a picture of somebody standing, somebody falling, and it says Fallout, and the other one was Halo, and I guess the Halo one's probably bad. I don't know. Oh, is there a TV show based I on watched Halo on Paramount. It actually wasn't bad. Oh, okay. That exists. I didn't know that. Exists. It does. On uh, Paramount Plus, they have the Halo. Occurred. You'd know the main character. Yeah. Well, Ian knows like every yeah. character. Yeah. Oh, I was trying movie. to think something that he's in. The, oh, the guy who plays the Master Chief. I remember seeing the ads. That's right. Yeah. Okay, then what's the name of the guy that plays uh, the the Frangi, the old Frangi on Deep Space Nine? That the has quirk? a funny voice. No, the old guy. The oh. uh, the bot, the leader. Is it Wall Sean? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, fucking he, I go. he just fucking shut you up. You got he, go he sit knows. over. Go sit over no, there for five I, minutes. He, <laughs> he, I knew he was gonna know. He's the great Messini. Of course, I know him. Uh, right. <laughs> the fact that you knew it with what I was attempting to describe, because I can't remember anybody. Sec. Because he plays this game every day with me. This, this intelligence Zach, is not Zach. artificial. Yeah. <laughs> All right, camera's rolling. All right, producers, like get the shit together. All right. what, 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 for you. What are we, oh, the Pisco Sour. What oh, who doesn't love a Pisco Sour? Pisco people. Fucking. I don't know. Anytime you put an egg in a drink, let's see if I we love can, it. Let's see if we do this sans yolk. Otherwise, we make a Pisco flip. That's all good. There we go. Uh, the Pisco That's Sour right. recipe is going to be two ounces of Pisco, one ounce of lime juice, half ounce of simple syrup, an egg white, onion syrup, bitters, and a garnish. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. You can't so, garnish. You need a smell. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. There you go. Dude. Because that thing Yeah, you can't garnish with that. You can't garnish with that. I need like a I need like a dropper bottle or something. I have, a, I have something. a bad feeling this is gonna go sour sour quick. We gotta get some, we gotta start getting some professional. Oh shit! shit. The cap's not on the other end. Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. Where's the cap? <laughs> I was wondering I was like, wow. It's available for I'm parties? like that thing just like sat by itself. I'm like, that's pretty cool. I've never seen one like that. If it were water, it might. Cap's but right here. that's thinner than water, so it doesn't have the same viscosity. Yeah, that should be a cap. No. I'm sticking up for you, Derek. No cap. With science. There you go. He only needs three drops, but I don't know what to do with. You know, you gotta get. You gotta be able to give it some like pressure. Yeah. Oh, how am I gonna get this on with the cap? Ooh, there? I need like a small like shaker. Like we're, a, we're gonna like do that, that on top, right? I need like yeah. a smart. The problem with this bottle, like I went at home, and every time you go like this, it goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, no, that, I'm that like, thing, why is no, red it, all over my fucking cabinets? That, that thing fucking shoots like a porn star, no joke. But like, and then my wife's like, oh, Derek's been fucking here. <laughs> and you're like, it's not. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that was Derek. I'm like, that son of a bitch. She's always playing like, me. She's like, what, you got lime over here on the ceiling? I'm like, I did not put lime on the ceiling. And this one actually calls for a dry shake. Oh, good. So we are doing a dry, not a reverse or non-dry. <laughs> Wet shake? Wet shake. A non-dry shake. So, yeah, you're a dry shake. For those that don't know, you're going to basically shake it without ice, which yeah. is fun because... Just the, make sure you get a good it seal. Does, yeah. 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 It does not seal naturally. Typically, well, I kind of blow up. Typically, if you take the two pieces and you put them together, you're gonna get a seal just naturally. Like this doesn't work very well. Yeah, but right. if you're just gonna shake normally, you just go like that, and I can break them. That's bad, right? Except when the ice collects, air sucks in, and then you can do that all day. But this? Do we pour with ice? No, not if we're gonna do a decoration, right? Yeah. Okay, no. You're gonna nick and nor that bitch. Yeah. 
Oh, do we just dry shake? We don't chill? No, you no, 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 chill. No, no, you, you, don't don't chill. Yeah, you don't have to follow it verbatim. You know how to make a drink. I do. <laughs> I'm like, you got something new? <laughs> you gotta chill. I, He's like, motherfucker. And sometimes I leave out some of the details because I know you know how to make I a love, drink. I love Pisco Sours. Mm, All right, I haven't had a producer, Pisco Sour in a while. W.T. Bits. You gotta, hold on, you gotta let it sit for a minute. You gotta take the cap out, too. Let it sit for a minute? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you push, there's a cap on the top. Oh, okay. Pull the cap off. Yeah, but not yet. It's gonna go shoot. Not if you hold it up. Yeah, well, when it comes now into the your face. Now the oxygen When it goes all over your face, you let me know <laughs> how it feels. What, there's no... <laughs> he might you like you should be able to get pressure. He now. might. I just don't want... Oh, see? 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 You pushed I just it too hard. You had to go past the... Because yeah. it locks on the yeah. end. Yeah. yeah. But I can just pour this because it's... Yeah, it's probably just going to drip out. If you put the needle end on it... You want the needle? Yeah, that would that would be better. Because then it won't just drip out. We need, like... I need a... I need a bitter... Bitter pour. Bitter, bitter pour? pour? Mm. Like a dasher? Mm. Or yes. like... You, you can just buy a dasher. They're... It's getting... Damn. Right. So this will probably still cool. So what do we want for decoration? I don't even know what I'm doing. You just gotta drop We're gonna it. do this it's, as gonna look like a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> it's either three dots or you do a swirl or you do an Ian. Whatever that you gotta, is. You gotta drop it and then do the hearts. Oh, you could do a heart. Yeah, like don't fuck it, it up. No, you, you, you gotta do the porn star and just like just blast it all over it. Just, there you go. Don't no, see, do now it's all nice and foamy. There oh, you look go. Look at that. Three dots and a dash. All right, now you gotta run the toothpick you through use, it. No, he can. He has a toothpick in his hand. Yeah. A natural yeah. toothpick. Just Just leave the light light show you how to do use this shit. You've been chewing on you, and that's great. There you go. I was just. Was I mean, you're really good at shaking, but like, <laughs> but I can stir. Yeah. I like how good. it's. I, I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna tell you what you're good at, and you can imply what you're. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know this game. <laughs> I've been here before. It's like, oh. I've been through 15 years of reviews with you. I know this game. <laughs> you know what you're really good at? Well, not that. Mm -hmm. It looks fine. It looks good. Yeah, I would drink it. Well, you will drink do it. Then. I'm gonna do it. I would ask you on a date if you made that for me. I made it for you. I know. So now he's gonna ask you on a date. Right. <laughs> Waiting. Yeah. That's an off-camera activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. No These are nice. That. They're just so dry and simple and. Not that simple. Mm. Just true hearts. Anything with egg is dry. Yeah. Dry and simple. Because it's just mm. a. It's your. It's not really a two-one. I guess. Yeah. Like Pisco's like, another. Liquor that's like, it's funky. I don't know. See, and I don't know how to explain it. It's funky. Hmm. It's like a muted cachaça uh, or something. Yes. Yeah. And we couldn't describe that. So. Like <laughs> so if you're from Brazil, you know what we're talking about. It's yeah. Funky rum. Cachaça you know, is like a funky rum. Where is this from? Like so, Portuguese. what is, is pisco? Portuguese. Portuguese? Oh, is. is pisco Portuguese? No. Oh. It's got some Spanish. No, is that Portuguese? On it. Oh, well, what, what's this place? Product of what's this? Pereno. Pereno. I don't know. S spell it. P e r u a n o. Peruno. Maybe no, it's, it's Peruvian. Peru. Peru. Yeah. Duh. It's Peruvian. It's not Portuguese. It's Peruvian. Yeah. Because I don't. Because I, when I think Portuguese. Oh look! On the front, product of Peru. It's just. <laughs> 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 yeah, they do it. He just had to turn around. I, I mean, I figured reading? the back label where all the detail was. Uh. So Peru and, and Brazil are kind of near each other. I don't know what this is based on. the same continent. That's what I mean by kind of near each other. Give us some credit here. We, but I, I don't know if it's a, if it's based on the same product design. This looks like it might be grape or something, maybe? I don't know. Like, I don't know what the core spirit that they use to mm. make the sugar or to distill the sugar. It's good, uh, though. Again, another liqueur that I don't know, like, what the hell else you do with Pisco other than make a sour. I'm sure there's other drinks, mm. but it's, why would you make anything but a pisco sour? Uh, yeah, it's pisco sweet. Pisco. Right? Pisco. Pisco. The pisco. other drinks could be even better. Pisco. It could pisco. Be. But it, it Gen has, Eternal Alchemist. I guess it could be great, but it has like a little. Glass is half full, baby. It's like a dry sour candy like flavor to it. Mm. Like it's, it's just to... really good. Oh, they have something on here. Well, I got words. One cup of sugar. Holy oh, shit. Oh, like a and recipe? Well, that's when it starts with mixed two cups oh, of this Oh, no, it's a, it's a sour. 
Yeah, but it's it's just made. If they're like, hey, it's just how to use the entire bottle. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's literally so just made for. This is how you buy more of our products. Right. Yeah. yeah. How do you? You could take. We could give you a recipe that you could have individually and as a party if you learn how to scale, or we could just tell you you got to have parties. So it serves eight drinks we or two people. Couple. Or two people? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, like, our two people. Yeah. I was gonna say they've been hanging out at Dan's house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a shot of egg white. That's pretty funny. You got shot two cups of, of Pisco, a cup of sugar, a cup of lime, and a shot of egg white. <laughs> <laughs> a shot of egg white. An ounce and a half? Well, that's what they made. An egg or two? It's, uh, a, it's an ounce and a half. But just throw that. This is, I mean, by that time, you're in a bucket, so yeah. you might as well just throw that shit in But why do they give, it a, they give it a whole other name of a recipe? It's this. It's sugar, lime, Pisco, and egg white. No, it's an Indian rouser. Well, okay. It's this drink <laughs> with smaller numbers. Size. What's that? In party size. In yeah. party size. Party size. In party size. Maybe Rouser's like, you know, Rouser. And even with bitter on top. Yeah. Well, so it only has a shot of egg and a whole, like, that has a whole egg white. And yeah. It's a little better to make like this. Yeah. I think the I consensus is this is just a good drink. This, this is a good drink. Simple, yes. easy. You should, if you haven't had one, like you should. A clean have taste one. to it that's not too sour, not too sweet. It's, it's not overdone. It's no. Just, mm. It's a simple cocktail. Yeah. Um, just use your favorite Pisco, and if you don't have a favorite, like we don't have a favorite, because we just buy what you can get, because in our country, sometimes you can only get, like, three brands out of stuff from, like, South America. Yeah. Then you just deal with what you got. That's it, my friends. There's a side row. There's going to be more videos. Probably aren't going to have too many Pisco ones in there. I can tell you what. Uh, down below. But this is awesome. Yeah. Bartender Soda Kit. Pick one of those up. Two of those up. Three of those up. Four for your friends. That's it. Teach you how to drink. Sour. Sour. Hey! Today we're going to make a Pisco Sour, and we're going to show you how, and we're going to probably, uh, we're going to play with the we're syringe. Gonna use a, we're going to use a needle. That's true. <laughs> so syringe. you've got to watch that. <laughs> Take that bitter in however you can. <laughs> Love the angle. You're going to get stains in your veins doing that. <laughs> stains in your veins. You look like a, a movie person, like a movie that, monster. That shit will that get you. That stuff, that shit's straight fire, no cap. It's lime no and dry. Mm. So. Yeah. Yeah. so it's like British humor. This thing is just lime like and dry. I don't care for British humor. <laughs> this is British humor. Limey. It's lime and dry. It is lime and dry. Yeah. You have one bar left in here. I love British humor. Right here. Right. FYI, I can get a new bar. Over here. Boom. Drop that. Oh, this is still charging. That's not good. I don't know if you can take the charge. Paloma. No. It's a full of Bianco. Oh, look at that. With maraschino. We haven't had that before. Nope. Good call. Found this on their website. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some better? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get my <laughs> elastic. I'm going to say that that battery is bone. Maybe that's why it wasn't charging. This is this my last like. battery. Like, every time I get these, they just start double blinking and then they die. Hmm. Like, you can't charge them anymore. They must have so many charges, and they're like, "Yeah, you need to. You haven't paid us yeah. in a while. You yeah. need to buy some more of that shit." Yeah, fuck. Yep, that works. It's a son of a bitch. It only has two bars, though. Well, I had one before, so. Oh, oh that was the one. <laughs> yeah, because I only have one left. The other one's dead. Oh, were you saying? You, you, you don't have no more pictures after this. I thought you just did it. We're draining it out and cleaning it. And I was like, "Why is he cleaning his shot plastic shot glass?" I'm gonna try it. I got this off Luxardo's website because I bought this because I found it when we were at uh, that place. Oh, well. I forgot to turn it the right way. We haven't been this for a while in a while. Yeah. That's because you, you don't have a job. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Right? I have a job. So you can go. Yeah, you can go. Unfortunately, you need two jobs. Oh, that's good. good. <laughs> hmm. It's bitter. Yako. Oh, you could use that for like Negroni. To make a clear Negroni. Mm, it didn't quite catch that. Good. Oh, yeah. That's right, oh. bitch. I wasn't talking to you. 
<laughs> is your name Negroni? Your name Negroni? I think so. The weird thing is, it's not even a Order me some Cheerios, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could definitely do like a Claire and Negroni without. Is it sweet? No, it's bitter. No, it's bitter. It's just it's, like Campari. It doesn't oh, say like this yeah, sweet. Oh, as opposed to vermouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you? I'm good. Good. I thought we needed sugar. I guess we don't. <laughs> Is that why we keep giving it back to me? Can we catch it real quick? Mm. There's no sugar in this either, Dan. You're going to be fucked. I mean, I normally like Palomas. Okay. Well, we'll see. I so mean, that's pretty bitter. Jen's going to have a... She's going to have to chug this one. Yeah. No, it's got Luxardo in it. Yeah. That's always good. Welcome to Combat Cocktails, Danny and Derek, and make for you the Paloma Bianco. Woo! Yeah! We've never oh my seen this goodness. before. Um, this drink I found when I was... So I bought this Luxardo Bitter Bianco, and I use it mainly to make my Manhattan. Oh, really? No. What is, what's, the, what's the thing? Yeah, Manhattan. What, what is, what's you the thing we use tomorrow? Manhattan? In Manhattan? Oh, maybe that's an old-fashioned. No, yeah. Manhattan. No, no, no. The old-fashioned that we make that has the Amaro in it. No, that's a Manhattan. It is. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I just. But you put it. bitter in it. The Amaro. Is it? Yeah, bitter? yeah, yeah. Put Amaro in it. Yeah. So I use this. To see what it'd be like. So that's why I bought it, just so I can put it in there. I needed more Amaro. Because I have that. I have the Montenegro. That's a fun and conversation to listen to. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Amaro the Montenegro for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the old-fashioned. No, yeah, yeah, the Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, like the whatever drink that is. I don't even know what it's called. I still have to with, use with the, the recipe card. I know what I do. <laughs> this is what I do. I do two ounces of whiskey. Yeah. Right? He's going to lose his shit about the shit he's making up his head. So, no, it was a conversation oh. you had. But that was, like, it that was like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> it's great. I have two ounces of like whiskey, yeah. bourbon, right? Then I add in usually a half ounce or an ounce of some Amaro, right? Then I do some orange bitters and some yeah. mango syrup bitters, whatever. And then I stir it, throw a cherry in there, and I'm good to go, mm. right? A little cherry juice sometimes. And I just was like, let's. I was running low on the Amaro from that company, so I used a Nonino. I used this. I used the Montenegro. So I, when I saw that at the store, I'm like, hey, I could use that for my bittering of that drink. And then I was like, great. That's interesting. But what else could I do with it? And then I was like, ta-da! Boom! It is time to figure it out. So I went to their website. Unfortunately, <clears throat> what they did is they did a sm they did half this, and it was an ML, mm -hmm. and that's stupid. Yeah. Because I can't measure. Everything was basically two thirds and some or one third, and I'm like, no one's gonna make a drink if it requires them to know what a two third and a one third are. No. So I just doubled it and rounded the lime a little bit. Oh, see, he made his own drink. All right, this is. It, it, it's the same drink. He's on the right there. Oh, okay. I just upped the line slightly and got it just made it so bigger. So that it's more line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The Bianco bitters are like, it's almost like Campari. Yeah. But not as bitter as Campari because nothing's more bitter than Campari. Oh, uh, that's pretty bitter. I just tried it. <laughs> I, I've never really drank it straight before. Yeah. I, I would say that it's pretty comparable to Campari. If there were cherries, I would add a cherry in there. Oh, I was going to get cherries. But I don't think we need to. No, because then I have to walk in there and get the cherries and bring them back. That's why here. we don't need to. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, it's, it's similar. Is this good on the camera? It's similar to yes. Campari. That's what I said. You use this to make like your like white Negroni. That's just racist. Well, why, why would you want to? I thought you were talking about replacing the vermouth. And I'm like, oh, okay. No, yeah, replace yeah. the Campari yeah, gin. Yeah, like, oh, the, yeah, yeah. And then they have like the sweet white... Vermouth? Oh, I get the like, I get the confusion because yeah. my I don't make Manhattans with vermouth. I make it with Amaro instead because vermouth is awful. That's it. Well, some vermouth's good. Yeah, it's good to stay right where it is. You can also use a nice sherry. Give me an Amaretto. I mean, Amaretto. Amaro. Yeah, I I don't want I don't want I don't want hmm. vermouth in my. Not terrible. Almost, it almost tastes like um. Dorchester. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, that was what I was hoping. It was yeah, yeah. Like. It's like a bitter Dorchester. It's funny, you kind of lose the, the tequila. For that glass. And did you carve them yourself? No, I used their natural beauty. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Yeah, because the Dorchester has gin. This is true. It does taste like it has gin, though. 
But I think that's just because I'm used to Luxardo or something. Yeah. And I like it. Like, it gets that floral. It's the, it's the citrus and the Luxardo that, that's, yeah. like, tricking your mind because you're so used to those flavors. There, really there's a little bit of, like, saltiness from the yeah. tequila yeah. that you can obviously tell it's not gin. But, like, other than that. This will slow you down, though. It's literally a Dorchester with yeah, tequila. Yeah. I'll link a Dorchester right here so you guys can see it. Yeah. Let me throw it again. The, the bitter comes through. This isn't bitter at all, I, no. I feel like. You think it's bitter? Yeah. Oh, see, I don't think it's bitter. You think it's bitter? Okay, Mr. Lime. What's That's your sour. deal? Oh, we're, That's we're, sour. We're, see, I think it's a sour, not bitter. With mezcal? Is that drink? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Of course it will. Definitely. Because it's got all the same flavors. Yeah. The, the... It would probably be better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 probably it's be a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'll give you yours. <laughs> it's probably better. It right. could be, be yours. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that if you like mezcal, like me. You add some smoke to that? Yeah. It would be good. You I think you would just smoke it. With okay. mezcal, it would be good. You get a smoke cocktail with your smoking gun thing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's a lot of work when I just add mezcal. You put it in that bubble thing, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you just serve it in a smoke box. Yeah. <laughs> or. I had a cocktail in San Diego that became a smoke box. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's because they want you to spend more money. You, you know you're in there for 20 bucks a cocktail if you're getting a box with it. If oh, yeah. If you unwrap that shit, yeah. It's gonna yeah, if it's got like a little door, <laughs> like if they got to lift it up, anything, that adds like $2 to every oh, drink. Yeah. yeah. They're like, it's going to be smoked and it comes out and you're like, oh, they put it inside like a hurricane lamp. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, that's going to be expensive. Like, <laughs> the only way it could cost like double that would be if I could take the souvenir mug with me. So, oh, I've never no. seen a cocktail at market price before. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes they put like they're like oh they're like we put gold leaf in it. Right. Yeah. Like that's when you're really. You're like they yeah. do that for Goldschlager too, and I'm still not spending a lot on that. Yeah. It's fucking sin. What was the what was the cocktail? The billionaire's bijou at the. Oh, I like another one that we filmed like a, at Lincoln. No, it's like oh a hundred bucks or something. Oh. Yeah, no, that, that had a it's saffron It's kind of like it. you got to try it once right. type of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I got it. Yeah. I mean, I don't a, know. Show me That's like a hooker. It. Do you try it once? Or like, you know? <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> more than once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I shouldn't be getting diseases from my cocktail. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. Right. A, I mean, you don't know if she goes and gets tested. Right. Or I he. She, <laughs> he, doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and if you're worried, I did get the uh, you always do anal. The Louis the Thirteenth cognac on the boat, and that was like sixty five bucks for, bucks for a half ounce pour. But that was like an experience. Like right. they, they yeah, bring out see? the cart, there's yeah. the heated up uh, yeah. right. glass, and they do the specific pour. Right. And yeah, that's a lot. That's of work. what I mean. It's yeah. kind of neat to try. Once. Yeah, it's not a yeah. high thing. No, it's like yeah. when you go to that like that jungle place with the with the with the with not the food, and they bring out you the volcano. Oh yeah. And they all go volcano. What is that place? The, the Rainforest frog. Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. Oh, it's good. like a big fucking oh. cake. Or what is it? I, it's, it's a, a dessert. A dessert. It's like called the yeah. volcano. And, it, and every time they bring it out, all the people that work there go, oh, volcano! And they carry it to the table. They put it down. So like sparklers or whatever on it. And then everybody else is like, oh, I want that. Yeah. Right? And then all of a sudden it's like, once you see one, it's like, volcano, volcano. It's, like, it's almost like fucking July and everybody's getting their birthday <laughs> yelling. I want to go there now. Yeah. They used to be in the Burlington Mall. No, you they can't anymore. anymore. No more yeah, yeah, I remember they were there. No. Yeah. They go be gone. Another time. No. No, I think they died before. Coffee. I think the no. fact that they had all those. They had really. Fucking, they had, they had uh, frozen stores. chicken nuggets for like $30. Yeah. Dollars. yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, well, just an And alligators that came out of the swamp. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like all it's the like animals. Bugaboo Creek. Oh, I've been moose. Oh, yeah. 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 Except for the entire place. You've never been there? If you were in the rainforest. I, I, I've walked by room. it, and I've seen. And like the that. rainforest cafe? No, you've been in there. Every I mean, hour or whatever, they the no, right there. lightning strikes, the kids? and all the animals go crazy. The whole place like goes dark and like, like, it, like it pretends Sounds it cool. rains. Yeah, you yeah. told me about it. Uh, yeah. It was good. it was cool. Like and when the kids were little. We but it is like thirty dollars chicken nuggets. You're not. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's an experience. I, I went to a cheeky place in San Francisco where they like made it rain. They had like a they had a pool like in the middle of the bar. And then like so, and the band played like it looked like a tip of a boat, mm. and so the band played there. And then every now and then it would like That's like the cool. lights would go down, and it would like it was like lightning, <laughs> and then like rain would come down yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. But it was like a super old school like tiki bar. Okay. That's cool. And then you're definitely spending extra money on to get. Did you have to spin a wheel? Rum and coconut. <laughs> yeah. No. No. That was the worst. We're all just like we love tiki and we're all like. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty better. 
Like yeah. that was that was probably more traditional tiki than I think I was ready to handle. Like going over to uh, whatever the other guy is, Latitude. Yeah. That I w- if I'm gonna drink tiki in a bar, I want to walk out drunk. And and we want to do it with Jeff Barry. Yeah. No. And I want little monkeys in my drink. Yeah. yeah. All the, like the standard. Right? I mean, Jeff Barry's bar is like what you ex- what you feel like it would be like going into a '70s tiki bar. Yeah. Even though you aren't, we were out, none of us would be old enough to do that, and we're even alive, right? Like that. That's what I want, but I want to do it while I can drink. And, and even if it wasn't it. really like that, and they were smoking back then, I, I just want to be able to go and get my little plastic monkeys, get my crazy drinks with the funny stuff on them and the big glasses. That's fun. Yeah. It's the, the place we fun. went in San Diego was fun. Oh, fun. The, was the, good. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good spot. <clears throat> So there, my friends, is this drink. It goes. Good. Watch us make the the Dorchester, and you'll find that like it has like that nice oh, like, grapefruit light. It's kind of it's kind of like a more creative mar- margarita, slightly different. That, yeah, one's, more, that one's got more bitterness. It to looks it. a little like a pisco sour without the foam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, cheers. <laughs> All right. Sidebar: More drinks, tequila down below. Awesomedrinks.com. Bartender Shark get. Go pick one of those up. That's it. We'll teach you how to drink. Whew. All right. Today we're going to make a cocktail using this thing I bought that was fun, inspirational pickup called Luxardo Bitter Bianco. If you've never seen it, watch. Keep watching. Cause you, you like know. it. I mean, if you like tequila, right. keep watching. You got that too. Because it might be in there. It might be. Just saying. It might it's not bad. Just be in there. Bitter. <laughs> you think it's bitter? Yeah. See, I, I think... like Campari bitter, but it is bitter. More bitter than Aperol. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm telling you that if I you don't find Aperol if you drank better. if you did a shot of this and a shot of Campari, it'd be very similar. No. Was that the Let's last try. one? Let's <laughs> yeah. try. Is there them. another one? Or That's the it. One? That's it. Damn. We we went through a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, besides the one that was in the chat, we can make that one too. You should make that one. That's my see. worst intro in ages. What? Did you go to the tong- oh, Tonga Room, Dan? Why the Tonga Room in where? San Diego? San Francisco, you said. Oh, San Francisco? Is that what it is? It's in a hotel. It's, um... I not got any tables at that point. I don't know. I was watching Anthony Bourdain in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. And he went there, and I'm like, I have to go there. Like, it's... <laughs> it is, like... It's in a... Beautiful hotel, like, like you walk in the hotel and you're like, oh, I probably shouldn't be here. Oh. And then like you go downstairs. It's not like the Monteleone where you're like, yeah, I, mean, I could, I fit here. Yeah, no, no, no. It was like. I think the Monteleone is one of those places. Pla- cool though. I think it's one of those places that used to probably be more luxurious. Mm. Yeah, back in the day, yeah, back I could see that. Yeah, no, we walked in because it was. It actually wasn't like too far, but it was like up this like, huge hill. So we, we took a car up and like we walked in the hotel and I was, both of me and Julieta were like, shit, this is a nice <laughs> hotel. And then like you go like downstairs and it's like your old school tiki, like all the bartenders, yeah. like all the guys are older. They all have just, cool. you know, your normal Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirts on yeah, and yeah. stuff, like really like, you know, pretty classic menu and nice. um, it was fun. I think it might be the Tonga Room. It, that was a good time. Yeah, this yes, it's in the a, Fairmount Hotel. This has a yes, bitter Peggy. aftertaste. Come on, I can't go somewhere and not go to like a yeah, good bar. Nice, yeah. yeah. Bitter in the name. No, I know. That's why you get trapped. Like we're gonna go to Dublin <laughs> and we're gonna find like a fucking cocktail bar. <laughs> we're also gonna drink, you know. We're gonna go to pubs and get shit house. <laughs> I think I have a stay in two days now. Do you? And now DJ might come and meet us in Ireland. Oh god. He's not here. He's not gonna be able to take it. I'm not. It's gonna be fun. I'm good for like a night. And then like if it's a heavy night, I need two days you to recover. Need to recuperate, yeah. I, I remember I still remember the time we went to uh when we went out to like Irvine. Oh yeah, it was done. And, and like you're like, day. and you're like, you're like, I'm fucking doing it. He's like, I'm fucking doing it. He's like, we're going out. He's like, we're going out every. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah, we're going out every night. He's like, yeah, we went out. We went out every night. We went out every night, and then like the last day, I'm like, we have half day class. 
I'm like, we're driving to LA. I haven't been to LA. I'm like, let's fucking do this. And he's like, yes. The next morning, he's like, I don't know if I can make it to class. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a nap. I need a little bit of And then he made it to class. And then I'm like, all right. I'm like. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, no. I'm like, let's, we'll, we'll take like a, you know, like a half hour. Like, we got to get ready before like traffic. But like, we'll take a half hour. Like, we'll just get like a little power nap and we'll go. What do, what do you think? He, he took a power <laughs> nap until the next day. I'm like, where, I'm like, where are you, bitch? <laughs> yeah, so we're in California. I'm like, where are you? And he just doesn't answer. Like an hour later, he's like, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm out in front of your door. <laughs> Did you make him go out? Mm -hmm. We're doing that. To have no, we went out later. We didn't go. We never made it to LA. That one. Yeah, Irvine. This is a shake. Yeah, the Tonga room was fun. Yeah. That that was oh, definitely was a good time. This? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. then I'm not. I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna build in glass. Though. Yeah, do it. Sure. All right. Yeah, there's no room right. to shake, so. Are we doing a show out of this, or? Yeah. yeah why not? Of course we are. That gives me up until next month, and I'll make sure I have enough for before. See, I think we need a camera on Jen. No. I think that's going to be our new thing. We need, like, the side camera you can show. But not picture, right? I think you need to edit it in. Like, so Jen's no. over there. Like, yeah, when she gives an eye roll or something. <laughs> no. And then, like, you can, like, cut. <laughs> that would be all the time. To, like, Jen <laughs> making fun of us. So we can just pick our moment. Yeah. Don't <laughs> like unsubscribe. Then she's going to, like, want to, like, get makeup on. That's and... okay. No. no. That would no. look weird. <laughs> that would yeah. look weird. <laughs> picture in picture on Jen. See? Yes. Like, does everybody want to see Jen as she comments <laughs> on how dumb we are? <laughs> you, you, you need a telecaster. So you say no, you're lying. Yeah, yeah. come on. Everybody wants to see Jen. And then you have a vo vo vocal thing, so whenever it hears her, the yeah. picture, picture comes on. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I hate, we have those in our fucking meeting rooms. I hate them. We can get an owl. Like one of the or one of those things that just does the telecom. It's like the yeah. Brady Bunch. It keep it has all the boxes of everybody that talks yeah. in the yeah. meeting room. That's that's dumb. All right, ready? All right. Wait, that camera doesn't have. What's it called? Yeah, do you Can know you know hit what it's that? Called? Oh, it is on. Never mind. I just couldn't see the red light. What, what's it called again? Oh, that one. Robo. Robo de Gallo. What? De, so Robo de Gallo. I heard that. See, yeah. we love Jen. Yeah, do a split screen. No. Split screen. <laughs> Three of us split screen down to like even. No, but you yes. wouldn't be part of, like you wouldn't be on the live stream, but you'd be a part of the main video. Yeah. Oh, like, a, just like Robin a... on the Stern show. Yes. Yeah. Like well, you should that was have the first thing I thought of actually. Yeah. You have a camera on her the whole time. Right, but you only cut in. Yeah, you only cut in like You don't understand Jen, do you? Oh. Jen doesn't oh. like cameras. I do. It's a hidden camera. It's a hidden camera. And then all my editing takes 17 times longer. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Just once. Oh. Just do it once. I understand Jen. I just like pushing boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> do you understand Jen? <laughs> Which I didn't. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Okay, let's go. Love Comment Cocktails, Dan, Ian, and Derek can make for you the, the Rab, Rabo, Rabo de, Gallo. de Gallo. I'm going to go with that. Um, this was this is from taking straight out of the live stream when we said we couldn't find any other cachaca drinks during our episode that covers the... Kai the Caparina. <laughs> right? So, so you usually make, only make a Caparina. Right, there's no other purpose. And then you have this Kashasha left. And then you don't have anything to do with it. And then you know Besides I mean? more of the Caparina. Yeah, I mean, which is fine yeah. because they're delicious. <laughs> but then there's this. So this is supposed to be a popular drink in yes. Brazil right below if you're from Brazil and can, can confirm this. Even though, I mean, we know multiple people from Brazil and they... <laughs> they're not here and they don't watch our show. They did give me a bottle straight from Brazil. Did they give? Did they tell you what to do with it? I mean, no, well, they didn't. but they don't drink <laughs> caffeine. So this I is, was very confused, but this is the problem. I made them for them. Like I don't get That's, it. <laughs> you're like you're Brazilian. You just you got delegated, right? Like I'm like I made it for you. I'm like. So the the thumbnail for this will be it will be Ian stirring because this camera's dead. Because it ran out of battery and that's okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a pause here so you can. Uh, <laughs> perfect. There you go. You you do realize that the <laughs> camera has frame rate and I just, just don't need the frames, right? Frame rate. Yeah. So what's in the drink? Oh yeah, that. So, hmm. It's an ounce and a ounce of three quarters of cachaça, one uh, three quarters of sweet vermouth, and a heavy one quarter ounce uh, chenar. It's like a little over a quarter. A little over, like a little bubble over it. 
So this just came in. Whether it's true, I mean, I'm going to take it as true. Hot off the presses. Oh, Bravo de Gallo yeah, yeah. means tail, of, tail the of the rooster. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense. This is probably uh, the rooster tail. Yeah. Good call. Thank you, Bantam 2K. <laughs> yeah. Tail of the rooster is probably a rooster tail. It, no, no. If, if it was a cocktail, it, it would be called. Like, like the if you thought, tail. like, Gustavo smelled funky before. Unless it's tail of the rooster. It definitely smells funky now. Yeah. <laughs> and that would be like the rooster story. That's right. Yeah. It's, Which it's, wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't. Unless roosters tell stories. Maybe they do. They could. Oh. I'm sure they're <laughs> That's the face. Oh. You're going to have to give me a second. I might. I got to do another. I got to do You're double like, take yeah, on that one. I used to like you like bitter shasa. drinks. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dad's going to have to walk this one off. I mean, it's. What, it's what, Ian has not almost given figgy. Us figgy? Yeah. Like a figgy, figgy pudding? No, like a fake thing. It's got an interesting sweetness with the chinar and the... It's the, like yeah. the, the, the bitter? The, the funkiness mm. of this. Because, I mean, it's a Negroni with Ygarra almost. Just the problem different is... Different ratios. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In different <laughs> It's the exact same drink otherwise. Yeah. What is it? A Negroni. Being an asshole. It's a Negroni, <laughs> but with cachaça. The ratios are different. Being but asshole. everything else is the same. <laughs> but this isn't even... Negroni. Well, instead of Campari. Yeah. And that's so it's like gin, Campari, and vermouth. So, so it's got sweet vermouth. So the Venn yeah, diagram, so the vermouth. Venn diagram is <laughs> the sweet vermouth. It's not the same, but it's only. Ben knew where I was going with this. <laughs> it's the same entirely because one ingredient is shared amongst another three ingredient cocktail with a different name and flavor and taste. Fuck. It's got bitter. It, this is. That's an erasure. This is not as bitter as a Negroni, but it's up there. So what, when you, you seem to suffer through this, um, but you like bitter drinks, and it's not going to be too sour. Well, I got hold on. I got to take it in. Cause <laughs> How I, long we've, do you need? When it's you're like, tasting like different like drinks, you got to let, you gotta let your like palate like... Light up with Give flavor. it like a, yeah. Well, when is it going to happen? It's, Me it's, and Ian are done. It's figgy. Okay. But you don't... But I got the fig. The problem is, is I don't know. The last drink like definitely threw my palate. I'm like this, this. Well, was he's the last not like we chugging had? it down. The the Paloma. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's completely off of this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but this, it it's the. I mean, like you for some reason can just like go from drink to drink, and you're just like, oh. Uh, you want? I'm a oh, fucking this, professional. This tastes it's like. It's like in college. Uh, you used to go from cock to cock. Yeah. <laughs> Being a professional. <laughs> that's a throwback mean? to like a joke from years ago. <laughs> At least, yeah. <laughs> um, this is what happens when you've been doing this for. 15 years. There's a lot of callbacks that you can pull off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, pull off. It's, yeah, it's, it's actually not. It's, <laughs> it's it growing on you? <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, it did. It's growing on me? <laughs> it's a little funky. Uh, <laughs> it's very figgy. Showing. <laughs> that's the that's a sweet vermouth. It's, it's, yeah. it's got yeah. a lot of sweet vermouth in it. That spice um, makes it that taste really figgy. Almost like it's yeah. gonna, it almost tastes like it's gonna taste like brown sugar, and then all of a sudden it turns sour on you, like a bitter like punch in the side of the face. Like this, this definitely is like a, a punch in the side of the face. Like you're you gonna see it stick coming. with the other cachaca drinks. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. Maybe I mean, it could just be like. I mean, my mouth right now is just. Like, I feel like I'm looking at the side. feels attacked. Yeah, like, like <laughs> everything, like, from the last drink to this drink. The two bitter drinks it's that just, had. yeah. I mean, the For sour drinks. So, uh, okay. So maybe I need, like... A Negroni? <laughs> would, would, like, what is it that would... I would have a about? Negroni over that. Okay. But, but so that, that could that. be part of the sweet vermouth. Is there no sweet vermouth in Negroni? I can't remember. No, I mean, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Maybe it's a gin. I, yeah, but this with this. You think maybe that's the. It's definitely an interesting combination. It's different, yeah. I could see it growing on you. It's not bad. It's okay. Just, uh, it's just not good. I'm not giving it a thumbs down. No, but but I, but if, it's just if not I ready put, to endorse yet. If I put side by side. I'm just telling you that I've drank a good amount tonight already. If I put this side by side with your expression when you had the uh, Kuiperania, <laughs> and I think you even that might have been the one you did a double expression where you're like, yeah. woo, woo! Like, you, <laughs> now, like it was good. Right? And this is the downward spiral. Like, it's, you haven't given me any <clears throat> like qualities of this where you were even close. So uh, I'm going to say on. you don't like, you either hate Kishasa or you really like Kuiperanias. Yeah, he really likes Kuiperanias. Oh, he's not a big fan of Chinara. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, he likes all that bitter shit. He's always like. It's all right. Food. I could drink this. 
No, you couldn't. You've been. It just took a minute. You, it just. It, you know what? It took a minute. I'm telling you, going from the Paloma. It takes a minute for your for your palate to adjust. Yeah. Going from the Paloma That's to funny. this, like scientifically four minutes. He, he, fucking, he counted. No, he that's how long you. it has been he, waiting he for you. GPT, that shit. <laughs> this, this is what ChatGPT, Siri, and Alexa have told me since you started. Is that's how long it's taken you to go from hold beginning on. to now. Another, hold on. Another breaking, breaking moment. News. Phantom 2K has come in. So, because remember we looked up the yeah, recipe? That wasn't the rest. That wasn't so the originally, recipe. it's made with the... Uh, that's not what that I don't even know how to say that word. Rasa. So, Rosso. Rosso, that's the easy one. That's yeah. red, right? Yeah. But it's Cinzano the, Rosso. Cinzano. Yeah, Cinzano. But the Cinzano, I don't know what the fuck that <laughs> flavor would be. But that still wasn't the one that was in the one I saw on the internet. It was another one. It's like sushi or something. Yeah. yeah. Sushi. <laughs> that's just not wrong. sushi. <laughs> but his wrong. mom makes it with Cinzano Rosso. Wrong. Yeah, that shit's wrong. Know. Just to let you know. I'm saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I might have said it wrong. It's not even fucking Italian. <laughs> you said Japanese. Strucci. I'm just saying my mouth right now is just like... Strucci. Strucci. Does that sound any less like... Maybe maybe, maybe it's not Italian? It's like Strucci. Oh, no, it's definitely Italian. Strucci. 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 It has two Strucci. C's next to each other. Yeah. yeah. Strucci. Strucci. But I don't two know C's? what that flavor is either. So comparing it to that flavor, which I don't know, versus that flavor, which I don't know, versus a standard sweet vermouth, this, which I do this, know. Okay. It isn't bad. I think it's just hard Strucci. going from one Strucci. drink to another. It is very herbal. Ah, uh, I don't think he likes it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to that. I'm gonna say it's okay. I'm gonna say no, no, no. I give a I give a middle. You give a middle, and the other one you give. Like I don't give seven a thumbs, thumbs down. Up on what do the you last give? One. You give the Detroit Athletic Club a thumbs down. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, just gonna just like throw up. Yeah, that's that's different. And what's the other drink that we just made? The one with orange juice. Oh. Today. No, like. You say we just a couple made months it. ago. <laughs> we just the last time we filmed was February. When we did all the classic cocktails. We had something with orange juice. Classic cock. That was like that was like uh, November what the or hell October was it? of last year. No, 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 no. We did it this year. So February. Yes. It was simple drinks. Simple drinks. Yes. Classic. It had orange juice in it. Well, yeah, there was something well, in it. No, 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 no. There was one that had orange juice. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. It had a little bit of the Come on, guys. It wasn't the same. We're in the pyramid. Let's figure this out. <laughs> 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 What you talking about? Oh my god, it was on the menu of a restaurant that we went to. Motherfucker. What? What was on the menu? When we went with Gilly and Christina. No, so we're in the pyramid. Let's come on, we're La about Pearl? to get we're about to get the no. bonus. Blue, the blue Stella Blue? The Stella Blue. Uh -huh. Okay. They had it. It's Stella Blue. What did we talk about? The, the drink with orange. The, the drink. <laughs> oh. oh we know. none of us liked it. It was orange juice. And mimosa? No, no. Mimosa? Shit. Dude. Think we, we just did it. Then we we know. Like, it was in the last like so seven. We did we did a full lineup of classic cocktails. Sidecar. Sidecar. Oh yeah yeah okay. See. It was a sidecar and we, we wait we ordered the sidecar. And it wasn't that bad, right, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, we had it. Oh, uh, but no, we, we, we made, made it. it. The it way we sucked. made it, didn't, we, didn't, we did something wrong. I don't know. Maybe if it so somebody comment in oh, in the chat. That's in the a vermouth channel. that's popular in Brazil. I can't get that. Um, comment in the channel down below of what your what you think the best sidecar is, and you've had to have it before and know yeah. that it's tasty. Don't just fucking Google it. We've done that. That's how we got the first one. <laughs> it's gotta be what you like. I you don't know what's funny what when, I, when says. I went to Spain, we drank vermouth. And it was awesome. Mm, I like vermouth. It was really good. It, this is it good. was better than this. No. Yes. <laughs> Way better. Well, good, because I don't really like this, and I don't like, I yeah. don't like vermouth. I like, Fuck I would you. rather just drink red wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, red wine with sugar? No, thank you. See, there is no good sidecar. Yeah, yeah. Ah. No, there is. The sidecar is so effective. Yeah. Oh, my we God. Tasted, we this. made it, and you were like, this sucks. <laughs> And I was like, this sucks. I will he give you the Long Island iced tea. Said it sucks. But I'm not giving you the sidecar. <laughs> I knew Everybody I thought it know. sucks. All right, we're making a picture of sidecar. She's going to drink all of it. That's right. The sidecar's fine. Ah! <laughs> you see that? I got that Look shit. Look at that. You want to hand it? Bitch. <laughs> well, there you go. Do with all this information. 
Or just knife. forget it all just happened. That's all on you. Okay. Um, that's it. You should try it. It's not, I mean, I guess I'm going to drink it. Wait, but he put sidecar. <laughs> that's like Mario Kart. It's a different sidecar. <laughs> yeah. that's, um, a, that's on the side of a motorcycle. Robin Sega. Oh, Batman 96. Damn. You were going back. Ooh, I was falling back. Anyway, sidebar, more videos down below. Bar oh, kit. shit. This isn't that good. I also did He gives it a thumbs down now. No, I'm like, it's, it's still like, okay. It's still okay. Maybe I'm like, fuck. Maybe I'm like, fuck. Delete it. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm like, fuck. Oh, my God. What are you going to do with these three, 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 three liquors? We're going to make a drink from the chat room. Holy shit. And you're going to waffle like a politician. Oh, my God. This thing or not. you got to watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, I the only I... thing you need to do is just stop and stare at the camera for 35 seconds while you reboot it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it smells weird. Yeah, right? I do that when I'm hungry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I guess that would have worked. Well, it's like <laughs> not bad. Did you, is no, it, it's all right. Is it yeah. this? Is it? Mm -hmm. It's like this. It's, it's all right. It's like this. Like I would drink it and I wouldn't order it again. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, this isn't bad. Yeah. I'm not gonna have another forget, one. Then you get it somewhere else. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Then I'd say the sidecar is good and yeah. I'd order it again. <laughs> Someone did order again, a sidecar, right? Yes. That again, night. I yes. Watched the same movie three we times. I'm know. like, we haven't seen this. And Actually, Derek's like, yes, we have. And then I'll get halfway through it. I'm like, oh, we've seen this. <laughs> You're like motherfucker. Yeah. Was, it it must have been Gil. Or Christina that ordered it. There's so, no way Christina ordered it. No, that. Jesus no. Christ. Well, whatever she ordered first, she didn't even drink. She gave it to Jaleesa so that Jaleesa could get dragged out and brought home. It was like oh a Coke-based drink. Kind of almost smells like banana. It's got funky, but then it has banana smell. Funky. It's funky. Cold banana. It's funky. It's funky. It's funky. It's, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> I think it's hard. Like vermouth, actually, like depending on the type of vermouth you use, it has a lot of effect on like the drink. It does. There's a lot of variation in vermouths, yeah. Even like using a little bit, because I have like a really herbal one. Yeah. Holy shit! You put that in a drink and you're like, I couldn't even drink it. That's that's how I feel for all vermouths. That's why I just drink with bitter instead. Yeah, you want some more of this, Dan? See, but that's what. Before I rinse it out. No, I'll like make something else. But no, okay. Drink this and then drink that, and then tell me. I drink them both. No, but like. No, I, I know like, what you're drink saying. Them, drink them, drink them, like. <laughs> fucking like. This is this is this is Ian's like. I get I get enough to taste it. He's like he's just like. <laughs> he's like it's not bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan either, but I think it really depends on the vermouth. Yeah, it probably does depend on the vermouth. So I'm becoming a, I'm becoming more of a fan of vermouth. Like I'm, it's growing on me. Shut up. Like I, like I start, yeah. yeah. Do you but, like cherry too? I do. Because like, cherry's it's, very similar. But but yeah. So I but I'm like moving in that direction. I'm not totally there yet. You. But like I moved into the Grony. Negronis I really like okay. now. Yeah. I actually so put you like more Negroni vermouth in like bridge to get my you to hands. The... Well, you're, things change. Your taste buds. Well, you're, mm. you're putting they sweet do. vermouth in your Manhattans then. Well, it depends. Sometimes, do. depends on what I have. I think what's I forgot what the hell is in the Brooklyn. You want the egg white? <laughs> egg white. Oh, mix them together. Oh, that would be not good. You want the egg white? And put some egg white in that. Brooklyn is rye, dry vermouth, maraschino liqueur. Well, there you go. Maybe it makes it better. Uh, well, it's bitter. Not likely. Brooklyn's good. <laughs> I'm more pecan. Now, Brooklyn's it. like a summertime Manhattan. Try uh, it. No. Is that gin based? Like that. It's rye and dry vermouth and maraschino liqueur. Oh, you're going to try it? Too. I'll give it to you, Jen. You just, <laughs> you just <laughs> wait. Close Derek's eyes. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that made it a little bit better. Did it? What? A little bit. Meat's I poured egg white in there. Oh. I thought it was because I, I squirted some of the Angostura in there. Oh, yeah, you did that too. I don't know what the hell that's going to do to it. <laughs> Turns into a brand new oh, drink. Oh, it looks like coffee. So, so when I was in Spain, we drank sweet vermouth on the rocks. 
That's and, it, and it was actually really good. No. 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 Bad experience. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, I but I but like I said, I think it's like like I've been trying to get to yeah, like it. To you do a ton of drinks with sweet vermouth. I thought you liked sweet vermouth. Yeah. Well, if I did, I wouldn't have two bottles. For oh. years. <laughs> like um so I didn't show you my my bottle. I hide the back here. Oh, that's a good one, John. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. It looks it. It's like curdling. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> this is the big Ooh. one. No. This is like from uh probably eight, nine years yeah. ago. It actually that tastes old? a lot like that one. Yeah. yeah, it just tastes like that one. I bought the little one because I couldn't find that one. <laughs> it's hiding in the back. There it is. I looked, I went, I dug through the whole thing, and I was like, I guess I don't have a bottle, so I went and bought it. And then you found one. Then I found a bottle. It's the best way to find a bottle that you think you have, find I, another one. I went to put the bottle <laughs> in there, I was true. like, where can I fit this vermouth bottle? How about right here? Fuck, there's a vermouth yeah. bottle there! <laughs> I was going to say, because that's exactly what it is. You're yeah. like, where, where should I put this? Oh, I'll put it here, because yeah. that's where it belongs. Oh. Because there's already a bottle here. There's a bottle. And it was a really big bottle. And I had two, sm I have another, there's probably another one around here, because I probably have a small bottle. I thought I bought two small bottles instead of having one big bottle. See, I should have, that's what happened with my sweet vermouth. I bought a bottle because I knew I was going to need some, but I still had some left. And then during the party, someone opened up the new bottle, oh, and really? I'm like, fuck, so now I got two bottles. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the answer is obvious. You're going to need to drink more Manhattan's. So did Daniel already go back? No, they're going back on Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. I'm going to shut the live stream down because it's bright in here. Bye, guys. So... Hey, who's going back where what? Have a good... Funky call Medina. Daniel, who's going back to Poland? Oh, DJ, yeah, yeah. I thought he was asking who else is going back. DJ. No, I asked him. Yeah, tomorrow he's Daniel going back, right? Jay. Yeah, Sunday he's in. Yeah. Daniel, Jay! Did they stay out late? You know, uh, I... Why well, am I mean, calling? He texted me, but I was oh, just kind of like, oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm like, Ian will go if I go. I'm like, because I'll, I'll be like, oh, drive down.